bang a bang a bang a bitch's pussy tell the pussy tell the pussy tell the coochie hang bang a bitch bitch bang a pussy pussy tell the coochie tell the how to got him with the guns and the coochie bang bang a bitch's pussy tell the coochie hang how to got him with the guns and the coochie bang bang a bitch's pussy tell the coochie hang tell the Monetize. I'm about to get you sucker, like you bash your bush. Mind your ass and words, I'm about to masturbate. I'm about to splash your work, blowing out of assholes like shit do. I'm about to hit you, cut you like a ginsu. I scream 12 like the Seahawks, I can rock cocks your roof. You can be up with a Winchester, and a Winchester, and a mansion when I'm dancing. We building rooms, tell them killing wounds like abortion. I'm torching, I'm mighty one, I'm morphing with a, a penis power. Fucking sour from the tip slipping in. I hit the bottom when I rock them on the fem slam. Like the poetry, you know it's me. I'm catching 33, y'all be catching 22. Then the dumb one I roll, bitch, I make mommy moves. I like toilets. I got my zombie pain. Juggalo, kid, man, I let your mommy bang. Tipping on the dip for them peels. Boom, bah, ha, we got them wheels. We sleeping on them. I'm peeping on them like the gummies. Jim, run me in my tummy, cause I'm sipping. And now I'm sniffing on the glass to the mess dick. This is the best bitch. You got that moist face. I'm 
I'm in that other place. We talking down on the radiation, cross the nation. Mac and G. Damn situation. Damn situation. Damn situation. How to got him with the guns and the Gucci bang. Bang a bitch's pussy, tell the coochie hang. Loosely mang. I want a slushy too, but I don't drink sugar no more. Sorry, I uh, fuck up the flow on that one. Ladies and gentlemen, the Drunken Peasants Podcast brings to you the Spin Tell You Spew Trivia coming Saturday, March 31st on the Patreon Patron Private Show. Become a $5 or more member before showtime and you can watch Ben and Billy go head to head in a trivia contest where the loser of each round will have to spin the spew wheel. Who will come out victorious? We got whiskey, we got vodka, we got tequila, we got all types of weird shit on here. We're going to put, I don't know, wasabi. If you got some ideas for some sick stuff, it's going on the spew wheel. Hi, I'm Billy the Fridge from the Drunken Peasants Podcast, and I've got some great news for you. We've updated the perks on our Patreon. That's patreon.com slash dp. For as little as $1, you can get on the exclusive Patreon feed and have access to our private Discord server. At $5, you're going to get the monthly private show. For $10, you're going to get more private content with the monthly commentary. We'll watch a shitty movie or something and make you laugh. At $15, we're going to throw your name at the end of every regular episode. You're in the credits. At $20, you're going to get priority in our Discord Q&A sessions. And all the other people have to wait in line. You, you're VIP. At $25, hell, come hang out with us on Discord. We do a smoke sesh type situation, and it's a lot of fun. At $30, dollars don't play games but we're gonna do game night anyways me and benjamin are gonna sit down on the atari and have some fun <laughs> you're welcome to play with us at 50 dollars you're gonna get to the hall of fame that gives you a special executive producer credit as well as secret access to ben and billy's private vlogs uh we did portland recently and it got super fucking weird at 75 dollars you're gonna go into the shill zone we're gonna pimp out whatever it is you do to the big ass drunken peasants audience and if you're lucky you can get one of those hundred dollar levels for your own segment now they're very limited and they, they might not even be available right now so keep an eye on that get in come on to the drunken peasants podcast be a peasant for now forever Drunken Peasants Podcast. Hey man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> from the strangest corners of the internet, here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective. Here are your hosts. The Drunken Peasants. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast, episode 429. And I'm joined tonight by our friend forever, Evan LeFaber, and Pan from the Rebel Taxi Podcast. 
Yeah. Pan pizza. Yeah, you know, uh, on our show, pan is just another word for marijuana. Did you know that? <laughs> oh, I was confused by why it said pan there. It's like, is that about, is that about me? Do, do we, are we going to smoke, smoke pan meat? every day? Smoke yeah. pan every day. Yeah. I don't smoke weed. I, I don't do those things. I'm You're just lame legal. as fuck. You don't you don't show your face. You don't smoke weed. What what is who is this guy? Do you do I any drink, big boy stuff? I drink mineral water. That's like <laughs> mineral <stuff>. water. <laughs> well, you 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 run a YouTube channel, right? Podcast. Yeah. So, cartoons. Car cartoons. Cartoons. For yes. kids. Yeah. So, Are there any I, enemas being administered I, in these? I cartoons? can explain. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, well, I, I couldn't explain that. That was just my uh, defense mechanism. I can't actually explain anything. Can Can you explain? Yeah. Can you explain why uh, the kids would would come to your channel? <laughs> well, it's mostly adults who are into animation. You know. Okay. It's never gonna end. So We're you all... cover all kinds of animation on your channel, then, from anime to classic shit, or what? Yeah, like mo mostly Western animation. Like, there's so many anime reviewers, but I talk about cartoons. I'm like, yeah, look at this uh, an girl in a cartoon. I want to bone her, and that's like 90 percent of the videos. Oh yeah, Ben's like, Ben's not ben. into boning I, cartoons. Yeah, yeah, I I am adverse to the wanting to bone cartoons thing. I'm all up what? for it. Put some it's paint normal. on my penis, and I'm there. So, yeah. Let's get it do you do right YouTube now. full time? You guys get bang. If you guys oh, could shit. bang one cartoon character, what would it be? Who would but it be? No, no, it can't be Raven from Teen Titans, though. Nope. That's off the table. So, Damn. other than Raven okay, from uh, Teen Titans, who, who, who are you banging? Uh, a cartoon? I, I can think yeah. of one. What would you Go. think, Pan? Uh, um... It's all blanking out on me. I can't think of another one. <laughs> you, you're so hot for Raven from Teen Titans that you, you can't think of another uh, cartoon. To I buy. thought you were talking about the girl from That So Raven. Dude, I would oh, bang no, her. No, thanks. Was, no, thank you. There was the Anise <laughs> Vanderpool or whatever her friend on there was way hotter than Raven. <laughs> yeah. The I'm little sure. redhead was so fucking s s sexy. But she's not yeah. a cartoon. So would you fuck Kim Possible? Redheads, I'd go Jessica Rabbit probably. For oh, Jessica that's Rabbit's an, old that's school. That's an obvious yeah. one. That's or the Betty obvious. Boop, but Betty Boop would be pretty, is pretty fuckable too, to be honest. Betty Boop you got like a waterhead though. Something wrong with that girl. Yeah. You guys ever see Cool World starring Brad Pitt? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes, I've yeah. seen it. The uh, Kim Basinger uh, animated woman. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Yeah. It was pretty much Roger Rabbit for those who want to bone cartoons. See, Even I never wanted to actually... You not to. I, I never actually wanted to bone a cartoon, but, like, I remember the, the one drawn female that i ever saw that i was like oh okay well they drew her like to be to look very sexy yeah. was was the 1990s x-men psylocke huh oh, the, yeah. mm, interesting they was, changed she, was the, she in the the show in the cartoon series not in the cartoon series no uh. just uh, drawn in the like when because they did a like a massive reboot of x-men like in the mid 90s they got rid of the uncanny x-men and they they like rebooted the entire comic series i'm gonna i'm gonna say gadget from chippendale rescue rangers no as long as long as she's mouse sized <laughs> like i don't want her to be human sized no the, so you want to kill you want to fuck you gadget to death cult, right? i want her to crawl around my balls and shit like a little little rat little rodent little intelligent ass rodent that's what i want is that too much i don't know have you heard of this Russian uh, cult that wants to bone Gadget from there? <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Like I think in Russia there was just like this weird cult that's just like have like banners of Gadget and they're just like marching through the snow, proclaiming their love for Gadget of all things. Like it's in a it's cult. Real. Look it up. Yeah. I, I, I guess know. I have to join. <laughs> I don't know what the story of that is, but I want to know more. I keep forgetting that existed. We're gonna. Uh, we, we've got a few questions that we got for you. Before mm -hmm. that, I want to. We, we have an announcement for everyone. We're changing the way we do uh, streamlabs and super chat. So the streamlabs and super chat is going to remain open throughout the entire show, and then at the end of the show, we're going to go ahead and go through and read all of the streamlabs and super chats that came in since the beginning, and then we'll open the floor to anyone who wants to send in any more. Mm -hmm. So your stream labs, your super chats will get read as long as they're not absolutely ridiculous. 
And uh, yeah, we'll we'll even display them back on the screen again. I won't read any naughty words. So if you uh, if you want to ask any of us, including our guest questions at the uh, feel free to send them throughout the show, but we'll review all of them at the end. Mm-hmm. That that way, the people that hate the questions in the Streamlabs don't have to watch it. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're gonna move on uh, with everybody's favorite segment. Control. Yeah. All right. Uh, here's a, so you have to decide: troll or not a troll. Hello, people. And when you see these UFOs, right? And the alien stuff, it's all demonic. It's all Satan's uh, uh, workers. It's all demonic. <laughs> There's no aliens. There's no, uh, the, uh, you know, aliens. It's all demonic. Fuck. We've been lied to. There's a firmament <clears throat> above us, and we live on a flat earth. Read Isaiah 24. That's what's going to happen to us. Unfortunately, because... uh. Too many people turned away from God and evil overtook us with Satan. What, what, first of all, what is up with this camera angle? He has his chin <laughs> yeah. cut off in the bottom and then he's got like more than twice as much room up above his head. Yeah, you, you can add the title screen up there, you know, you like a poster. <laughs> That's yeah. one giveaway, which makes me think this might n- not be a troll. The speech impediment, I... I I'm trying to catch an inconsistencies in the speech impediment. Okay. There's and, a lot of I, people that believe this shit, man, that there's yeah. no such thing as aliens and then it's all a satanic conspiracy, outer space is some conspiracy by the devil. And it's like, no, dude, look, I even had to make a video on my channel telling people that aliens are not demons, man. I mean, it had to come to that. Man. <laughs> But I say this is not a troll. That's what I'm going. Not. We're a glad troll. you set the record straight, Evan. <laughs> everyone was wondering, and we needed someone yeah. who's an authority on the matter to let everyone know. Satan, so it's got to be destroyed. It's written. But I just it's Jesus Christ. It's in written. Your heart. So uh, who says troll so far, or not a troll? Evan says it's not a troll. Not a troll. Not a troll from Evan. Pan troll or not a troll? Or do you, uh, are you not, not sure? Not a troll. I mean, he's wearing a hat with shades on the top, and he also has that tiger blanket oh, yeah. hung on the wall. That it's is the definitely extra not a troll. two feet of white ceiling above his camera too. <laughs> yeah. That makes me think this guy's legit. The that dumb. The, the the sunglasses on the uh, you know on his forehead thing. That's a very astute observation right there. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, I I agree. Not a troll. Demon ick. Did you think not a troll? Yeah, it's not a troll, oh, okay. dude. If, if he is a troll, he's a master. Man, troll. it's been unanimous so many times lately. Not a troll. All right. So now we're going to move in to DP Action News. Not a troll. First thing we've got up here today on DP Action News. What do we got here? Oh. Oh, man. You know what? <laughs> uh, Father Morris. He's he's the faith correspondent on Fox News. Oh, God. They have a faith correspondent? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Father Morris on the success of faith-based films. <laughs> oh, only on Fox News do they have this bullshit. Have you seen the latest mm-hmm. box office? They, they know their I'm, audience. I'm not talking about Black Panther, by the way. Take it off. Oh, <laughs> what? I'm not talking about Black Panther. You had to take a day to Black Panther. Black Believe Panther was a religious experience. I want you to know that I pray for you all the time. And I hope that you find whatever it is that you're looking for out there. Are you going to see this one because you have the movie pass? I will, yeah. I I'll- can only imagine. Imagine, in case you're keeping track, starring Dennis Quaid taking the number three spot. Dennis Quaid. More than $38 million since opening weekend. So why do these fake It's fucked movies up when Dennis Quaid and Randy so well, Quaid are up. equally uh, ridiculous. Like, Dennis Quaid's gone all into the alt-right, or, not, or the right. I won't say alt-right. He's going deep, balls deep into the right trying to get that paycheck. And then Randy Quaid... 
He's just fucking psycho. Uh, he's the one thinking that aliens aren't demonic. Well, he he's was living in homies. Canada for a while because he thought the government, the U.S. government, was, was out chasing to get him. him down. Yeah, yeah. he's you fucking out that video there. with Randy Quaid, right? The one where he fucks his wife, and there's a dog there yelling, uh, barking <laughs> at him. I, I heard about I, it. I, I, I never saw it. I, I heard about it, and I was like, "That's something I don't need to go look for." Right? <laughs> it's a quality film. It's a quality uh, piece of uh, troll or not troll like uh, videos. You know, yeah, some sex tapes you have to watch. Others you can yeah. pass on. It, it was on YouTube, so it was safe for work enough. Apparently. Oh wow! I don't know. We're still on there. Some uh, bits and pieces of them here to make sense of it all is Father Jonathan. <laughs> here to make sense of it all, Father Jonathan. More as Fox News religious correspondent and so much more, Father. Great and so you. much like, more. What? And so much more. <laughs> what else is he? Is he's he... a he's a Boy Scout master. Is he Milo's uh, priest? Uh -oh. He's a little <laughs> league baseball coach. <laughs> uh, what he else is he? Carly. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he's a gymnastics instructor. What's going on? He has why, an extra long middle so finger. Well. This is this is the story of all time. That is that we are hungering for truth, good entertainment, no! which means good art in, in the case of movies. And when those two come together, truth, <laughs> right? Truth and good truth. entertainment, truth. Then it's going to be a hit. Good entertainment. It's uplifting, but having to they just proclaim that it's truth without you know referencing yeah. anything you had to say truth seven times and good entertainment three times to lead yeah. up into this little little shill how much is father mulcahy getting paid to show this fucking movie what's funny is when that noah's ark movie came out a couple years ago all these christians were hating on it because they said it was inaccurate to the bible and shit and it's like dude the sto story of noah's ark is inaccurate to reality man <laughs> Hey, hey, did you see Evan Almighty? Oh, yes. yeah. It's filled, filled with Evanism symbolism, man. Yeah. It's, look, it's plausible. That movie proved uh, the arc was plausible, you know? Could oh, happen. Yeah. That movie That's deserves a, scary a premise. foundation sticker. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. A guy who abused his yeah. son and it's his transformation. About I don't want to give it away, but it continues to trend. God's not dead and some of these others. All of which have done better and are deemed to do better than would you would think yeah. well society. what's the message here it's forgiveness right. that is the true. only good religious we all know movie we need ever forgiveness. was we... the exorcist man <laughs> what about iron giants uh, is that religious i mean it's about a boy talking to, to a robot about god that counts for something you know oh, i don't even think they could make the exorcist like if, especially not with an actor that's like what like 13 14 years old oh, like yeah. she was like or how was she even younger i think she was 12 she yeah I, she was young and like she does all the I, I mean i know it's acting but you know they have her mimic shoving a fucking crucifix, crucifix. into her bloody vagina yeah and they have her say shit like your mother sucks, sucks cock, cock in hell. hell yeah i don't think they could get away with that they'd have to find like a young looking 18 year old actress or something well they probably have to just to cast it as like a, a 19 year old they wouldn't even they would make her all cgi <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it would be when, when th that's what they would do if, if she would okay they would have they would have a uh, a young girl play the part before she gets possessed and then when she's possessed they would have it all cgi yeah pixar oh. would uh do the movie nowadays <laughs> pixar or robert zemeckis <laughs> <laughs> need to give forgiveness and receive it, but also there's great art, there's great entertainment. Dennis McQuaid, Fucking, a great, a great, he's great entertainment actor. for the fifth time. And we now. see that going back to a lot of movies. We think Dennis of the passion Page, of a great actor. He's a great actor. Remember, remember. No, this guy is a super shill. He probably doesn't even rape kids. He's probably just busy shilling <laughs> bullshit all the time. Oh. The Christ, Mel Gibson with Jim Caviezel. Why did it do well? There was a lot Why of truth, and well? they were unafraid to. Why did it do well? Because mega churches were bussing their entire congregation and they were getting paid to do so like the they, the production budget for the or not the production budget the advertisement budget was directing churches directly people were forcing their little kids to watch that rated r movie kids were coming out crying I, and i had no i had no desire whatsoever to see the movie like i already know how it ends anyway for one thing but also it just doesn't seem entertaining like, it's okay to have a violent movie, but there has to be, like, an interesting story as part of it, too. But this is just like, you know, let's watch this guy suffer and feel bad about it because... Greatest you know, story ever told, Benjamin. 
No, the greatest story I ever told was actually a movie about Jesus's entire life. The Passion of the Christ is just the the final what like day of his life. Yeah. So that's the difference. That's I why I thought people. Oh. I recall people calling it a snuff film, basically. Yeah, that's yeah. what they did on South Park too. I mean, that's what mm -hmm. that's what it is. I, you know, it's like a three hour film too. They, they they took a knock at Black Panther for obvious reasons, but the fact that they're <laughs> comparing this to that success is ridiculous. All these movies are doing are topping the box office predictions. The the box office predictions said this movie was going to do shit, and it did shiny shit. Basically, none of these movies are like blowing you out of the water. This is all just propaganda. They also said God's not dead. Yeah. Okay. I mean. <laughs> That was kind of, I mean, that's like a niche kind of popular film, kind of like the Tyler Perry movies. You know, those are popular, but, you know. Those do a lot of money. They do, I, but. I, I went to see the Halloween one. I mean, we would be silly if we didn't say that they're geared towards a certain demographic i was i was i went to the movie and i was in the theater and i couldn't i didn't find any of it entertaining or funny but the whole audience was just snorting down popcorn choking and laughing the whole fucking time <laughs> farting and pissing and shitting it was it was amazing to me how much they were enjoying this movie and i'm like this isn't good at all no they're not good but there's a subsection of America that eats that shit up. It was like little um, nine-year-old kids with their parents. The nine-year-old kids were laughing at blowjob jokes, but it was okay because they said a prayer like four I mean, minutes later. It's also kind of in the same way they made what, like four Eddie Murphy Nutty Professor movies? Did they? It, it was well. It was at least three. They made three, and I think one of them had like a little girl take up the mantle. No, wait, that was a uh, Doctor Doolittle. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Yeah. Eddie Murphy's really good, though. Or Eddie Murphy's good, but those movies are garbage. It was, so was you guys Bowfinger. Excited for triplets? And... They're making a sequel to Twins with Eddie Murphy as triplets. What? Shut up, really? <laughs> yeah, I'm serious, man. Oh my gosh, I, that I would be funny. To, I just want to say, if uh, Eddie Murphy ever comes out as some sort of pedophile, that they would call him Doctor Doolittle Kids. <laughs> do little kids do it well he already but got caught also picking up trans prostitutes in hollywood right yeah yeah he did yeah so he's he's, so he's not into a pedophile that. he just loves the hishi the hershey kisses um it's great art and you can't do just let's do a religious film and try to make money it doesn't make it doesn't work you have to make it truthful and you have to have great art great actors great directors great scripts he's right, truthful you again great Great movie, great entertainment, great director, great actors. He's using the word great and truth so much that he's obviously lying to you. Have you ever seen uh, The Messenger? It's the Mila Jovovich movie where she plays Joan of Arc. It was like a late I, I 90s didn't... movie. No. I, th I think that movie I think that movie is pretty good, actually, because it, and it, there's a twist in it to where, in the end, she realizes she's fucking crazy. I like that. And it's that. not actually God talking to her. I like that. <laughs> While she's burning oh. alive, it all comes to her. They're coming out with a movie about the three Christs of Ypsilanti. Are you familiar with that? Ypsilanti, Michigan? Yeah, it's the three Christs of Ypsilanti. There were three men that both thought they were Jesus Christ, and they got put in an asylum together. And at the end of the... the, the this is a real story. At the end of the... the, the the study, they all came to the conclusion that the other two guys were fucking crazy. All three of them like, no, those guys are fucking crazy. <laughs> I'm actually Jesus. <laughs> but they're coming out with a movie for that. That's going to be good. That I'm would be a great shit. movie, man. Like It'd be like the Highlander, except there's all these different Jesuses and they got to fight <laughs> to the death. I think uh, Peter Dinklage is in it. and um, Does he think what? he's Jesus? Yeah. The midget Jesus? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, <laughs> I don't know why I think that's Walton so funny. Walton Goggins is in it too. It's gonna be a really good oh, movie. Oh, how cute the little guy thinks he's Jesus. <laughs> I I have to be. I'm baby Jesus because <laughs> he's <laughs> small. All Get Jesus it? throughout the time, like <laughs> like young Jesus, modern Jesus, and what how ancient uh, elderly Jesus would have been like if he wasn't crucified. So, I mean. <sighs> It's not that these movies contain the truth, and it's not because they're uh, amazing works of art. It's because they're catering to a large group uh, in a very, very specific oh, yeah. type of audience. Yeah, it's pandering and propaganda right. mixed together. 
I, I went and saw that Clint Eastwood movie about the, the the explosions on the train. Oh my god, what a terrible idea! That's propaganda. There's so many propaganda movies that are coming out that just feed into the right because there's a whole bunch of people on the right that are like, I don't want to watch this liberal agenda bullshit right so they would rather get fed their bullshit everybody wants to eat their own bullshit they're mad because spider-man has a, a a black mary jane zendaya's not mary jane mary jane's a redhead so i'm gonna go watch god movies <laughs> <laughs> you win all right so we're gonna move on from this uh one thing i did want to talk about we don't have a video about it but uh basically trump has ordered about 60 Russian diplomats to leave the country. And a large part of that has to do with them closing down a Russian consulate here in Seattle. In Seattle. Uh, basically, they've been given a week to leave. So should we try and get one of them on the show before no. they're gone? You don't want to invite them to the, the, why the, fuck the, the would they wanna, underground. Why the fuck would they want to be on the show? Because they, they love uh, comedy. Russians love a good laugh. Oh yeah, they love it. Every time I hear a bunch of laughter, I'm just like, man, those mu those must be Russians over there. They love pickles, vodka, and laughter. That's a that's a fact. I bet Putin would be on the show if we asked him. We just got to tweet it at him, or no? Yeah. I, you know, <laughs> he'll get back to us. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys, not me. Oh, well, he'll he'll only come on if you're here, Pan. Oh boy, I'm, I'm, I'm sure he, he's into cartoons and animation. You know. He, he loves a uh, worker in Parasite. That's a classic Russian animation. There might be a little bit of it in here. Uh, here's here's Trump is here's a video about the the diplomats. We'll see if they mention well, the, the White Seattle House thing. has released a statement in response to President Trump's decision to expel those sixty diplomats. It says today's actions make the United States safer by reducing Russia's ability to spy on Americans and to conduct covert operations that threaten America's national security. So this consulate that they closed was near, uh, I believe, a, a Navy base. Okay. And then also it's near Boeing, where they manufacture a ton of different aircraft. So up near Everett? No. Oh, okay. No, uh, I, the consulate was like downtown. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With these steps, the United States, our allies and partners make clear to Russia that its actions have consequences. Well, let's go to Chris Buckler, who has the latest that's from crazy. Washington. That's and, some uh, weird six shit, man. That's like, that's some racist shit, man. I hate to say it, but that's <laughs> racist against Russians, man. Like to single out people just because they're Russian and kick them out of the fucking country because they might be spies. <laughs> that's like saying, like, all these other immigrants might be terrorists, so kick them out of the country, you just know? Just because like, there's a, a guy and his daughter got poisoned? They didn't even die. Come on. What's a little poison? <laughs> no harm, tougher, no foul, man. right? Am I right, guys? <laughs> it's like eating Play-Doh. Right? It's non-toxic. You can eat Play-Doh. The well, a very large chef. number, not just affecting Washington. So what what are you reading as to what's behind this decision? Yeah, let's just break it down. So there's 12 that are going from New York, based at the UN, and 48 from Washington. And it is very clear that this is an attempt to show solidarity with the UK, that there is a coordinated effort by nations here to say to Russia, enough is enough. But it is also partly about concern about what is happening inside America as well. When you take a look closely at what has been discussed here, there is concern about Russian interference, Russian meddling, and that goes beyond those allegations that somehow Moscow tried to interfere in the US presidential election in 2016, but also what is currently happening, that there is some spying and covert intelligence gathering that is taking place now. In recent weeks, there have, for example, been talk about just the cyber attacks that have taken place inside America, which have been... I wonder if they're getting expelled from the Seattle area because of all of our tech connections with, like, uh, Microsoft and Amazon, if that has anything to do with their cyber security. I think most of it has to do with the other reasons uh, that we mentioned. You know, the, the, the naval base that's right there and the fact that there's... Um, there's Boeing aircraft okay. near there. Them spies, man. <sighs> At least that's the reasoning that they gave us. Aimed on Moscow. Those are cyber attacks that have specifically targeted American infrastructure, for example, power supplies. And that has concerned here. So 
as part of this action, that consulate in Seattle will be closed. And it's being closed for a specific reason. It's because it is close to a submarine base in America. It is because it is close to the aerospace manufacturer Boeing as well. So, uh, yeah, yeah, there's a submarine base. So it's it's a base for submarines. So I guess it's underwater, obviously. Yeah. Huh. That is a, a sending a message to Russia that there are concerns about just what it is doing inside America as well as outside America. Now, it must be said, when you look at the statements that are coming out of the White House, they're also talking about Ukraine. They're also talking about Syria. But this is not just about what is happening around the world, but also what is happening here inside the U.S. as well. All right. So, yeah, uh, there's room for yeah. new spies now. Should so, we become spies? I see Trump, Trump try to sit the fence with Russia for a while, and now he has to do something because they're trying to kill people. He's been really quiet about it, right? Like, he hasn't said anything on Twitter uh, because of this. I think it's not it's, confirmed that Russia was involved in killing those people, but, you know, that's the spin. You know, the CIA could definitely be fabricating that shit to... Because look at our government is constantly trying to push this anti-Russia shit. Russia's the enemy. Russia's the enemy. Oh, we can't be friends with Russia. And it's like, it's like really? Like we should be talking about world peace, not fucking enemies are enemies forever, and we'll fight to the death. Especially when there's nukes involved, and these Russians have technology that's just more advanced than ours at the moment. It's kind of fun. Russia's got advanced technology on us. Oh yeah, they they came up with this new fucking missiles that can dodge and weave it's like a fucking ai spaceship type fucking craft and they showed our missile defense system launching at it and it just dodges and weaves the away from our fucking missile defense system they're like Damn. we can hit america at any moment and wipe them all out we, we america cannot push us around anymore damn so, it's fucked up man Here's a little more Russia stuff. It says, former KGB agent was told something bad would happen. The Trump administration could decide in the coming hours whether to expel a group of Russian diplomats from Which we the know United already States. happened. Sources say the National Security Council recommended the expulsion in response to the poisonings of a former Russian double agent and his daughter in England. Last week, the UK ordered 23 Russian diplomats to leave after- I like how they found a picture of him where he's like uh, apparently in jail. And they find a picture of her like outside and it's all nice and sunny looking. That, that can't be jail though. He's got a dope ass tracksuit on. <laughs> it's ready for Formula One. <laughs> for real. I mean, he is Russian. Maybe so. he's in like a, a a cage match or something. Russian for, for, for a drink. For a Russian wrestling match. <laughs> <laughs> Blaming Moscow for the attack. Meanwhile, the Kremlin has issued a statement urging the U.S. to show restraint. The statement says this in part. Russia-U.S. relations are so multi-layered strategic stability of the entire world depends on it. They should not be taken hostage by such clearly staged stories. The chemical attack in England has prompted a former senior KGB agent to come forward. He says he was warned that something bad would happen to him and Sergei Skripal just weeks before Skripal and his daughter were poisoned. CNN's Nick Robertson digs into this. Sergei Skripal would be a dope porn name. <laughs> <laughs> Three weeks before Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia Wait, that's were that's the poisoned. daughter too? Yeah, she looks really different Why here. was she really cute in the other picture and now she looks like somebody's mom? And with Rude. a nerve agent. This man, Boris Karpichkov, a former <laughs> senior KGB spy, got a- KGB spy? So that means he would have been a spy back during the Soviet Union. Yeah, he also might have been Bat Boy. Warning, his <laughs> life and Skripal's yeah. were in danger. First time when I was this motherfucker looks I evil. It, it's a joke. He looks like uh uh no, Ivan, or, I don't know what was what was that wrestler's name? Oh uh, yeah, fucking uh, Animal uh, Steel or no. No, no 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 um the Claw man. Yeah oh, yeah like yeah. Baron von Raschke. Baron von. Yep yeah, yep yeah, yeah, Baron Fuck. von Raschke. Yeah. <laughs> this guy probably eats ass for the blood. <laughs> Like, he doesn't even do it for sexual pleasure. He just eats it so he can get the, the, the tissues in his mouth and suck butt blood out. It he, is him. It is Baron this Von Raschke. Baron Von Raschke. Yeah, see? Here's a picture of Baron <laughs> Von Raschke. Holy shit. 
It's him. He's he was a KGB agent. Makes One sense week to me. After the poisoning, he told the UK's premier breakfast show he didn't bother telling the police because his life had been threatened before. I mean, if they're watching this interview, I'd imagine they would want to talk to you as a matter of urgency. Now, three weeks after the poisoning, he says police have yet to contact him. He is telling us more details about the warning. I received a phone call from only one person who could call using this phone number. Some, somebody you know and yes. trust. Yes, he's still deep undercover senior field officer of Russian secret service called FSB. What's his job? This guy scares me. <laughs> I'm fucking scared, dude. He'll fucking kill you. Yeah, everything about him scares the shit out of me. Sorry. Not even hint. Because, hint. you know, just you, because... You've seen Rocky IV too many times, Billy. And you've, you've I've never seen Rocky IV. You've never seen Rocky IV? Nope. Holy shit, the big fight, man. Oh, I don't want to spoil it for you. Don't spoil Rocky IV for Billy. Is this everyone. guy in it? Because this guy is scary. No, Dolph Lundgren's in it. Dolph Lundgren, yeah. not scary. Dolph Lundgren's he, actually a very cool guy. Oh, this you guy, seen Rocky IV, man. I hope this guy's cool. He looks like the opposite of Count Chocula. <laughs> Count Milkula? Yeah, if, if cancer came in a cereal box, this guy would be on the cover. He fucking scares <laughs> the shit out of me. That's it. Because if I give slightest indications... I love no. Russians, by the I, way. I'm I not anti-Russian. You can put this guy, though, is a scary I, I human. Will, will not reveal his name even there. However, he says he was uniquely placed to get the call. What? What is the reason? Because he's well, your friend. No, no, it's it's much more much more simple. Once such happened, I saved his life. His pain. You saved his life. Yes, that's it. That's it. It's understandable, is it not? Kapichkov says he spied for and against the CIA before Russia's intelligence service, the FSB, turned against him, planned to kill him. He fled to the what UK. What a beautiful city, though. Those those Tetris buildings in the background. <laughs> yeah, Tetris. Tetris, yeah, Tetris buildings. The Tetris they're, they're so that's beautiful. Awesome. Yeah, that's around the time they built them, actually. Yeah. yeah. Right yeah. after Tetris was invented. Yep. Baron von Ruski scares the shit out of me, though. Like, he, he's not a real human being. He sucks blood. <laughs> From the butt. <laughs> what is his progress on uh, what capturing the fuck moose and squirrel? Moose and squirrel. What the hell is that? In London by Russian agents in 2006. That's him when he was a baby? Inquiry, I ran my own investigation. And the result of this investigation clearly states that Putin didn't give an order. But Putin was aware that Litvinenko uh, is going to be taken out. Some senior figure within FSB came up. Okay. Yeah, so Russian... It's funny, there's all sorts of Russian shit going on right now. The only way I could be more fearful of this guy is if he also has a cringe rap out there. Like, <laughs> he's seriously one of the scariest human beings I've ever seen. Hell yeah. He should bring that to the stage, man. He could have a career. <sighs> MC. I don't get scared easily either, so I'm kind of freaking out right now. This is new it to me. This is new territory. KGB, man. <laughs> well, okay. Do you guys remember a couple of years ago when the KGB had commercials on TV saying, hey, call us up, and if you have a question, we'll answer them for you. There was, like, this service called KGB, <laughs> completely unrelated to the KGB. Does anyone exactly. remember this? No. Yeah. Oh, you know, you know what? I do remember. It. Yeah, it was like a question. You, you would text a question to it, and it yeah. would respond. This is all my information I know of the KGB. <laughs> KGB. I'm, I'm just confused why I'm here. It's like, this is politics. I know nothing of this. Well, we, you know, we usually kind of move around to different things. <laughs> yeah. We have to watch po political videos and read political articles because we are the most intelligent minds of our generation. And we have to re-spew re this information for the people watching at home so they know exactly how to think and speak. Yeah, I just dissociate all reality and just watch cartoons. I mean, <laughs> I think I'm exaggerating, but that really is how it is. 
Do you think they should start making more political cartoons, man? Do you think you get into oh. the news and politics if it came into cartoon form? <laughs> It'll dumb it down for me, yes. But um, they did they they're doing that now because uh, Stephen Colbert made this uh, Trump cartoon on Showtime or something, hmm. and I look. It's kind of weird because it reminds me like there was a show called Little Bush on Comedy Central. Oh yeah, Little Bush. <laughs> and Little Bush was, I mean, well, Bush at the time was already on his final year, and it's like, really, you're doing it this this late into his game? But I guess now they're just going forward with uh, that Trump cartoon. Well, Comedy yeah. Central did uh, That's My Bush as well. It was like a George Bush style uh, sitcom. Yeah. Yes, and. They did that earlier, so Little Bush, I think, just came on near the tail end. Did Obama? He got a cartoon, didn't he? Not that I'm aware mm. of, but maybe. No. Huh. Mm. I can't remember. I thought so, man, but maybe I'm just thinking of the Bush one. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of Fat Albert. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. He was old weir Weird Harold? Yeah. Oh. No, he was hey, actually hey, Fat hey, Albert. I'm Barack Obama. I'm Barack Obama. I just ate a whole bunch of cheesecake. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Pakistan TV airs first transgender anchor. And before uh, before we went live, Billy was like, yeah, she's pretty hot. She is. Is that her? Yeah. Yeah, she's cutie. I think so, anyway. Pakistan News Channel was hired. Uh, a Pakistani news channel has hired the country's first transgender TV newsreader. Marvia Malik, a journalism graduate who has also worked as a model, told the BBC she was moved to tears when she was offered the job. She anchored her first show on private broadcaster Kohinoor okay, on Friday after three months of training. Transgender wow, so people face discrimination in Pakistan and many struggle to find employment. That's important right there. Yeah. Because I, I, do they have regular women on the, the channel? Like some of the some of the countries in that area, they don't allow women on TV, right? I have no idea. I so can't I, think of another transgender news I mean, reporter. Can you guys think of anybody? No, that's I can't think of any. I can't think of any. And you know, it's surprising that it's Pakistan because they're like a mostly Islamic country. You'd think they'd not be happy with it at all. Mm. But it's very interesting. They're yeah. ahead of the curve, man. Pakistan not, is just not the according to this. <laughs> paragraph here <laughs> yeah what's good well, is I this person gonna get stoned people, to death they face discrimination everywhere except for like thailand and shit where it's like the <laughs> transgender capital capital of the world and shit yeah maybe this was the only way they could get a a female looking correspondent on the television they were like we're only allowed to have men on the show They're like we have a loophole it says this woman was born a man it says uh transgender people face discrimination in pakistan and many struggle to find employment some are focused into begging dancing or prostitution to earn money oh. miss malik told the BBC she had to stop herself from screaming with joy when she learned she had got yeah. the job. Yeah, the BBC make uh, Miss Malik scream with joy. <laughs> this, Whoa. This, could be, this could be the fucking plot to Anchorman 3, man. Just get <laughs> Sasha Baron Cohen to play this chick. That'd be awesome. That oh, would be no. good. <laughs> they could have stopped at Anchorman 2. We're done with that. <laughs> yeah. Anchorman the animated series. <laughs> Anchorman I think that was in development, but it never happened. <laughs> was it really? Man, when when the Clerks animated series came out, I'm like, man, they're animating everything now. That yeah. was good though, and it got cut off TV because it was ahead of its time. The Clerks animated series, I swear on everything. Leonardo was ahead of its time. Leonardo, Leonardo. <laughs> it was ahead <laughs> of its time. Here's something crazy. Uh, there's a Zoolander cartoon that just came out of nowhere to coincide with the second film, except it only got released on, like, a European Netflix, and it didn't have any news. It just appeared into existence. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah. That movie was a flop, right? I didn't bother watching it. The second Zoolander? Uh, yeah. I never saw it. They should have called uh, it Two Lander. Holy shit, Pornhub is being oh. touted as a real possible YouTube alternative. Yes. Oh, man. Even the company's community manager says it's possible. 
YouTube's crackdown on hate speech, bullying, and conspiracy theory videos has sent some in search for alternatives, and it looks like Pornhub might be their answer. The search began when people began posting screenshots of gun videos, content that YouTube recently announced it was placing stricter restrictions, stricter restrictions on. That ended up in Pornhub's safe for work section. Gun videos are now part of a YouTube policy prohibiting certain kinds of content that are strictly prohibited and will be removed from the website. According to the policy, this covers any video that intends to sell firearms or certain firearms accessories throughout uh, through direct sales. So and, and then there's more stuff. Basically, uh, YouTube doesn't like gun videos anymore. After tolerating it for over a decade, now if you have a gun video, you're in trouble. Well, we've been tolerating school shootings for over a decade as well. Uh, well, okay. And it's finally coming to an well, end. Well, YouTube never tolerated school shooting videos. This is about YouTube and about videos. Didn't the Columbine kids have like a vlog video? Uh, okay, there's no. <laughs> that was ninety nine. True. Right. That was right. YouTube. And there's no. And there's no videos of the school shootings. Dude, so that's I'm what I'm talking about. I'm all for this shit. I am all for this. I think, you know, fuck YouTube. Have a 18 plus platform for where there's no rules, you know, a rated R fucking adults only where you can have an entertainment that's comedy that may be inappropriate for younger viewers, whatever. It's an 18 and over website. You can post whatever the fuck you want. And if porn cub cub could do that, damn, that would be an awesome thing, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I'm up for the competition. I really feel like YouTube is unchecked with growth right now. We need somebody like Netflix or Pornhub that has the, the money behind them without having to worry about the advertisers getting in the way. Yeah, you know what I would do? I would set up gifts of like bouncing titties for all the like Streamlabs donations when they come yeah. up. I would just bounce my fucking titties out. I, mean, I would I'd be like, okay, here we go, guys. Done. I mean, to have these videos, would you have to have like pornography? Would someone have to be naked while displaying their guns or something? Hopefully, in order to be on this site. In a perfect world, I don't think they would have to though, because they do put up non-porn videos on Pornhub here and there. I've seen, I've seen them make their way into there. They just don't do as well <laughs> because people go there to jerk off. Yeah. Yeah. Although I know, I know there's a reviewer, I, an anime reviewer, who I think on the side secretly makes up. Uh, videos about a uh, hentai anime except um he's well he's in his underwear too but i guess to get away he wears this mask and goes on pornhub and reviews on there i don't know <laughs> the one thing about pornhub is you have to get uh the id for everybody in the video right you have to mm -hmm. all be registered with pornhub i wonder uh if uh, i wonder what the average view duration of a pornhub video is <laughs> I think mine, my personal, is probably like a minute. Not even. It's probably it's pro maybe like one twenty, a minute twenty, maybe. But it could be forty seconds on average. So you know how to wrinkle your jingle. I never make it through the blowjob in a porn video. <laughs> it always starts off with a blowjob, and I'm like, don't even get to the. You're pop. like, yeah. I'm like, well, that, that's done. Moving on. Oh, yep. Moving on. Well, YouTube oh. is is uh, taking actions against firearms content on its platform. Pornhub doesn't have similar rules. The only condition in Pornhub's pro prohibited use section that may pertain to gun violence is one saying users cannot post any content that is obscene, illegal, unlawful, defamatory, libelous, harassing, hateful, racially, or ethnically offensive, or encourages conduct, conduct, conduct that would be considered a criminal offense. Uh, I've man, hateful, ethnically offensive. I don't know. I don't know. We couldn't be on. Yeah, that. I don't think so. <laughs> yep. No. There goes my new Pornhub show. Oh well. <laughs> oh man. Move over, vid.me. <laughs> yeah, vid.me is gone. I think. Yeah, yep. vid and blip and rubber. What about Minds? Does that still exist? Because that was a, a a bunch of these popped up uh, during the adpocalypse. A lot of people started using VidMe, and a lot of people started using Minds. I never heard of that one. Yeah, yeah. There's there's one called Minds. I I don't know if it still exists. It's it, none of these. It's not even Pornhub has the money that Google and YouTube have. Uh, you know, but they somehow still stay afloat. 
They well, stay afloat. Pornhub, Pornhub does very They don't well. have the money Google does. Yeah, of no. course not. But they're, they're not. The, the porn still is one of the greatest online industries. Think about all the hours of video footage and all the data storage that it takes to, to house all of the YouTube videos. I don't think yeah. Pornhub has even close to as much video footage on it. I don't know. The, no. A lot of the advancements in cyber technology come from the porn industry because they're always consistently trying to grow their their um their 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 content distribution as well as how they save it and. Yeah. I don't know. I guarantee you, there's more videos being uploaded to YouTube every second than there is on Pornhub. <laughs> they they definitely have to have way more capacity than Pornhub has. Honestly, right now, probably. More people probably jerk off to YouTube than Pornhub as well. Why? Because they're wow. little kids, Billy basically, the right? Is here. When you're 13, you don't go to Pornhub. You why just, not? Just, I would go to Pornhub. Okay, if there was no way, if if I wasn't, if there was no way to test my age, yeah, and I want something to jerk off to on the internet, and I'm underage, I'm gonna go to Pornhub. I'm not gonna but go to most YouTube. kids. Most kids are afraid their mom's gonna walk in. No way. And if they walk in while they're watching, well, uh, they already land. Hold on, hold on. Cop. There's there's a serious flaw uh, with what you're saying. Their there's mom's gonna walk in. History. Their, their mom's going to walk in and see them jerking off regardless. Yeah, but if they're... So it doesn't matter. They, 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 this is the thing, though. When your mom walks in and you're jerking off, it's a two-step process to close out a Pornhub and put your dick away. If you're just watching YouTube and it's Azzy Land and, and her big old juggy fucking tits with Quibble Cop being a dumbass in the background, you can slap your cock back in your pants and your mom's like, what are you doing? Why are you watching this garbage YouTube? You're like, oh, it's uh, uh, Logan Paul. Mom. <laughs> sounds sounds autobiographical or oh, something. Oh yeah, dude. My mom walks in on me half the time. Jerking I'm off. To, off. That's why. To Logan Paul. That's why I'm so quick. I'm worried. I don't want to get caught again. Yep. I know that feeling. Logan Paul. Too bad he wasn't around when David Carradine was hanging there. Oh. Oh man. <laughs> Too so soon. Fun. <laughs> that, that he moves to Pornhub and he just starts doing his vlogs in front of celebrities that are hanging themselves jerking off <laughs> the, the Workaholics boys put out a new movie this uh, weekend on Netflix and they have a scene that references similar things to the David Carradine hanging masturbation death it was a very cute joke the movie itself mm. is enjoyable but that, that joke was very cute Mm -hmm. We're going to move on. Here's an interesting headline. A 109-year-old woman said secret to long life is avoiding men. <laughs> and this is the from the Huffington Post. A uh, 109-year-old woman in Scotland said in January that the secret to her longevity is this. Eat your porridge and avoid men. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Jesse Gallen, who never married, was born in a tiny two-room farm cottage where she slept top to tail with her five sisters and a brother on a straw mattress, reported the Daily Mail. Man, these... Wow. Holy what? shit, 109 years old. Yep. Wow. And it was just getting the fuck away from men. So, is this, I mean, what is, who wrote this article? I can't speak for all women, but I know a ton of women who would rather die young and get some good dick. I'm sorry. 109. This could be the oldest living lesbian, man. She's not even a lesbian. She's just fucking scared She's asexual. <laughs> she oh. probably is. The ga Gallant told the newspaper that her secret to a long life has been staying away from men. They're just more trouble than they're worth, she noted. She also made oh. sure <laughs> she also made sure that I got plenty of exercise, eat a warm bowl of porridge every morning, and have never gotten married. Huh, okay. Sounds like she spent her entire life trying to find a man, but she's such a milk toast lame Sarah Plain and tall bitch that she's now 109 and realizes that she's gotta suck down this porridge. This bitch is dumb. Look, look I think only if we manage to outlive her by 104 years or so, you know, we, we reach past that. I think we have the right to like criticize her because she might be onto something. No, uh, I agree. I, yeah. I agree with Susanna Mushat Jones, which, by the way, her middle name is fucking awesome. Mush hat. <laughs> I picture her with a mushroom hat because it's a mush hat. The oldest person in the world currently, Susanna Mushat Jones, who turned 116 over the summer. 
claims that eating bacon is the secret to long life. And I bet you she slept with more dudes than uh, most porn stars. Yep. At 116. She lived, she's lived eight more years. She knows what the fuck she's talking about. Yeah, fuck your porridge. It's bacon and cock on my plate. Okay, so there's two sides. Bacon and porridge, and the opposite end is uh, p bacon and then porridge. I'm getting this right, right? Bacon now, the, on one side. The 108-year-old woman says porridge and abstinence. <laughs> And then, and then uh, the the woman that's eight years older, one hundred and sixteen, says that eating bacon is the secret to long life. And because her middle name's Mush Hat, she probably takes that mushroom-headed fucking cock on a regular. Probably. Okay. Oh, okay. You know what? Well, May Young I, was fucking Mark Henry back in the day, and if she that wasn't like real. She was about one hundred nine years old. <laughs> that was that was kayfabe. Yeah. Mark Henry got sweet dick. I think I came up with like a possible theory. I think what we should do, it's kind of like you guys ever play the video game Infamous? Oh, yeah, no. I've played it before. Okay, so um, basically, in Infamous, you have to either choose to be good or evil, but if you choose the middle route, there's not much for you in the middle route. So basically, you have to choose between good or evil or bacon or porridge. So you have to lean either super far into one side or lean super far into the other side, and you'll be, you'll gr uh, be able to outlive by what, 110 years old? You know, exactly. that's my theory. That's a good. I agree, man. I mean, Go even on. if even if the bacon was gonna cut forty years off of my life, I would rather die in my seventies eating bacon than live to one hundred and nine eating porridge. But it's Those just extra right. forty years. Extra forty years aren't gonna be very nice. But what she got now, like Netflix. What else does she do? She can't dance like she used to in the twenties. It's the future. <laughs> you got Hulu and Netflix. There's so much possibilities out there. Yeah, man. Yeah, shit, yeah. What, did she build the fucking pyramids? Man, these bitches are old, man. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. All right, here's here's another strange one. Florida man reunites with pet cat lost 14 years ago. Wow. Like, Whoa. what the hell? Uh, a Florida man Are they has been sure about that 14 fucking years. Let's let's see. A Florida man has been reunited with a cat he lost 14 years ago. TCPalm.com reports Perry Martin of Fort Pierce said he had assumed his orange tabby cat named Thomas Jr. or T2 for short had died in traffic. Huh? That's funny. So he had another cat named Thomas too that apparently was no longer around. Martin moved in with a friend after Hurricane uh what is it gene? gene clobbered the state in 2004 a few days later t2 escaped the home and never returned martin had t2 implanted with a microchip in 2002 that's how he knows it's the same cat he never had news of his missing pet until martin county animal animal services officer called him march 9th to tell him t2 was in a shelter in palm city i heard stories like this mostly with dogs yeah. So what I'm thinking may have happened was someone else took the cat in. Yeah. And then the cat escaped again. So yeah, that someone took care of this fucking cat for 14 years. Didn't know it was microchip for somebody else. It escaped again. And now it's back with the original owner. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. very... Very weird. I, I thought I thought it was gonna be like the cat came back to his house after that. Like you hear those stories of an a pet that got left when the family moved and the pet found them like across state lines. Like that type of shit is amazing to me. That's some Milo and Otis level of uh, of, of <laughs> film. <laughs> Milo and Otis. It's Milo and Otis. They're, they're going to find the or, or, or far and away or whatever. Homeward Bound. That was a good one. Yeah, like, far and away is Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman. Yeah, but he found her. <laughs> but. Like th th that's some epic shit. This is just like, oh, this cat went to somebody's house and then left that house and got caught, and now he's got a chip. So fourteen years later, there's nothing really epic about this. He had a fucking chip and everything. Like uh, Florida man, I expect more from you. This is why we usually hear from Florida man doing some really crazy shit, like drunk riding a lawnmower or eating. I don't flesh. think it was a tracking chip. I think it was just an ID chip. Yeah, that's yeah. what the I, that's what the chips do. Yeah, they they, they ID them. Uh, especially the technology back then. I don't. You could probably put a tracker in your pet now. Probably open up their anal cavity, pull out the the glands, and just shove a little tracker Ooh. up in their butthole. 
This is the time uh, we we just want to take a few minutes to remind anyone who wasn't watching the very beginning of the show. Yes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do something very special for our private show for Patreon that's going to occur on uh, this Saturday, March 31st. You can join our Patreon uh, at any point between now and showtime on the 31st. Uh, we're going... What, what did we name it again? We just came up with this uh, recently. What is it? Spin, spin till you spew. Yes, we're going to cover this wheel with different uh, things, uh, different alcoholic beverages. Uh, and uh, we're, basically, we're going to play a trivia game that has different rounds. And at the end of each round, the person who has the lower score has to spin the fucking wheel. We and all then get they, fucked up. They may end up having to take like five shots in one spin. Yeah. It, Tell me <laughs> you guys are putting butt chug on there. Oh my God! No. <laughs> <laughs> like a, a vodka a, soaked tampon. Bong, a gravity bong or what do they call it? We it? should have one of those be like a vodka soaked tampon. No, I don't want it to be that <laughs> fucking bad. You gotta slip it in if you lose, Ben. <laughs> Damn. That's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Hell yeah. And yeah, so it. if you join now, you can check it out. Also, we'll be releasing our Ben and Billy Out on the Town video for the $10 plus patrons soon. The yeah. movie review is already there, so you can check that out. And if you become a patron during the show, it will show your name on the screen. So check that out. We're developing over-the-top content for you, the patron user. Yeah, and uh, we've been talking about bringing back someone uh, whose name rhymes with Ho, who happens to be one, too. Bro? Yeah. I mean, Mo? okay, in in Spanish, his name is Ho. Who? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. I, I'm Mexican, so I don't get that at all. <laughs> his first name would be pronounced Ho. I thought it would be Jose. In Spanish. Jose. Jose. You need an S in there, man. You, I don't know. <laughs> anyway. What is the transliteration, man? <laughs> Oh. Damn, that's going to be epic. We Holy shit. Is that going to happen on a private show or just a regular show, man? Stay tuned. We don't, Ooh, even, we don't even know. Stay tuned. We don't know if we'll let Ho come back. <laughs> we don't even know. <laughs> but but yeah. that being said, why is Bat Boy's grandpa back on the screen? Are you trying to give me fucking nightmares, <laughs> Benjamin? No, what we're going to do here is we're going to pause for a quick word from our sponsor whoop, for whoop. about one minute and then we're going to come back with some crazy people and some cr cringe rap and all that shit oh yeah oh, sounds we'll good man oh yeah Jingle? smoking alone oh yeah <laughs> beautiful hey do you do you have uh any new you know bard style songs about pimp monk Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> maybe, maybe. We'll have to see, man. You want me to bust one out here? Yeah, there I mean, if you want to. There was a man named Pimp Monk. He comes to your YouTube. He likes to be real happy, but without a cigarette, he gets real rude. <laughs> Did I say cigarette or cigarette? Dang. I think you said cigarette. <laughs> Speaking of that, just to shill something real quick, after DP tonight on my Evan LeFever YouTube, I'm going to be doing a live Let's Play of the Drunken Peasants video game, the role-playing game made by Skeptical Jesus. And I think Ben's in the game, Billy's in the game, I'm in the game, so it's going to be pretty cool. Check that out for sure. It's going to be wild. It's going to be wild. Anderson Bobar. Crazy people. <laughs> <laughs> it gets you every time. You know it's going to happen. You know. My, oh, my pulse is beating, man. Holy shit. Whew. All right. So before we start, crazy people, I want to remind everyone our Discord is now open to the public again. Uh, there's a link down below if you want to send that in. Also, your contributions to the show help the show uh, continue 
to be on uh, three times a week like this week. Yeah. Two times a week, some weeks. We're going to do three next week, We're doing too, three right? this week. We're doing three next week. And if everybody, you know, is in love with it, maybe we'll just do yeah, three Yeah, maybe forever. we'll just keep doing it. But uh, in the meantime, if you'd like to contribute to the show, please become a patron. Please uh, hit us up with some Streamlabs, and uh, we'll be reading those at the end of the show. All right. Here uh Yo. Oh, oh, uh, here's Derek Savage. Here's a story from Derek, Daddy Derek from the Cool Cat movies. Oh, Daddy Derek. Ooh. Hi, guys. I'm Derek Savage. And I'd like to tell you about a story that just happened about an hour ago. Okay, first of all, here's my brand new film. It's oh, yeah. Uh, I want to tell you a story, but actually, before I do that, let me tell you about my film. This is the fucking mind of Savage going down here in big, bold letters. Gun self defense for ladies. For ladies. But then, because yeah. he doesn't want to miss out on a buck, he adds in. And for men, too. <laughs> oh, so glad you cleared that up for us, so <laughs> Yeah, you got to read the small print, man. He's ready to kill a motherfucker with that shotgun, man. He's ready to blow someone in <laughs> half. Is that really what he's advocating here? Blowing someone in half with a shotgun? Yeah, uh, Pan... I love the Windows uh, Vista background. Just that <laughs> calm, grassy <laughs> field with their guns. Yeah, like, this is insane. The cool cat guy is making a fucking video about guns. We got to send this to that He's... fucking bald headed Sigourney Weaver looking girl from the school <laughs> shooting and fucking send her <laughs> after this guy, man. He's he's made this is probably like his fourth gun related movie he's made. Gun self-defense for ladies. It's a very, very empowering project. And in this project, I actively <laughs> preach for everyone who is legal to get a concealed weapons permit. And this is how it come down. <laughs> oh, oh, man. So, have you seen the Cool Cat movie, Pan? Oh, yeah. Have you seen his gun safety videos? I, you know what? I haven't actually watched them, but I've seen all the different... I've seen the trailers for a bunch of them. Okay, because um, YMS was talking about uh, one of his videos, some sort of gun safety gun video, where basically they just have they're filming this lady who she shoots a gun and the 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 shell of the gun lands in her breasts, in her cleavage, <laughs> and she moves the gun around and she points at the camera and you see the cameraman just like getting scared and just shaking the camera like saying whoa <laughs> and it's supposed to be a wacky blooper but this is like a safety video for gun safety it's like this is the wrong message i don't i don't know i kind of like the idea of yes yeah, like now i want to watch it yeah titties catching discarded fucking shells i would watch i would watch that all day long hot fucking <laughs> shells and some hot fucking yeah. titties give me give me give me give me oh yeah it's just like oh, being in I texas <laughs> I just hired somebody um, off Craigslist yesterday. She was over here today doing the closed caption and typing. You just hired someone <laughs> off a of Craigslist? <laughs> was this before they shut the, per yeah. the personals down? Yeah, I heard oh, that man. was getting closed down. Oh, no. no. It's a documentary style film, so I don't have a, a script that we went by as I do in my feature films. Okay, so she's typing, and I'm giving her a ride home. And we pulled Did he get a bank, Craigslist you know, so hooker to be on his fucking video? Is that what he did? Yeah. All right, right yeah, Quisha. Yeah, after you're done sucking my dick, you gotta type up the fucking the the, the entire script. Like, this is like Pretty Woman too, man. Fucking <laughs> a. Yeah, it's, give give me my closed captionings, bitch. We're in the big time now, honey. I'm a filmmaker. <laughs> oh, by the way, I, I, I found out that even though the U.S. Craigslist personals have been taken down, the Craigslist personals for any other country still up. They're still oh, up. So we can still do crazy Craigslist ads uh, international. All across oh, the world. Guys, we'll, we'll... What you guys need to do is look up either goth girls, uh, gamer girls. They, those are always the best ones for uh, personals. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, hmm. I mean, I'm I have money to pay saved on my computer here. Oh yeah, <laughs> really? I'm down, to, I'm down to read some crazy uh, English Craigslist yeah. ads. I can do an English accent, love. <laughs> I can link you one <laughs> if you need one. There's a. This one is T for T. Wow. 
So tranny for tranny. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, I, I looked up a goth one. I, I'll do some research and we'll have some crazy Craigslist ads on a on a yeah. show coming up soon. Woman, and then I can see here's an ATM right here, and then there's a little space, and then the other ATM right when I pulled up, and I saw this big boy coming right toward me. I mean, I just sensed, and I said, "Oh, we got trouble coming." And by the <laughs> time I said that, the boy boom right at the ATM right there. I just pulled my gun, boom, and I had it under the door uh, under the door ledge, not in that space or nothing like that. And I said. We don't want nothing, you know. And he said, like, you know, got some money. And I said, no, get away. And then he then he got a little aggressive coming. And this was a big boy. I mean, he was he was probably about 240, 250, about 23 years old. And it'd been a fight right there. <laughs> I mean, the boy, that's either hard to beat. But um, or they can be. And um, and then he, he made aggressive move, and, and I said, I said, I said, no, get back. And then I put the gun up like that, finger off the trigger, did cock it, nothing, didn't, you know, didn't have to break bad or nothing like that. And he looked at me, and he looked at that gun, and he just went, oh, like that, and he backed up and got away. And the thing is, the chick right beside me, it all came down before she even knew what happened. And then, and before you know it, her panties were just totally moist. They she was like, take me, Daddy Derek. Fuck moist. They melted off of her. She was there <laughs> bottomless. All that macho gun shit, like... <laughs> turned her on she couldn't take it just I mean, this this video promotes gun control more than it promotes any fucking gun safety man <laughs> yeah god this guy's just, a psychopath i gotta tell you normally 240 pound 23 year old would have kicked the shit out of me but i had a gun so <laughs> he didn't rob me again okay daddy just, Derek. fuck me in front of the atm why don't you <laughs> If only Dusty Smith would watch some cool cat videos before he fucking got robbed by his dealer, man. He got punked. It could have been a guy asking for directions, and Daddy Derek shot him. <laughs> <laughs> get the fuck out of here! I, I just didn't know how to get back to La 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 LaGuardia. Right when he I walked away, she the she li ones. <laughs> literally freaked out, but freaked out in a great way. She went, oh my god, now I get it! Now I see why people carry guns. That guy was right there. If I was here by myself, I'd have had a massive problem right there. And but, but, but you didn't even have to point at his face. You didn't have to cock it. You didn't have to break bad and turn Rambo on him. He saw that you were standing your ground. You were aggressive, and you weren't gonna let nothing happen to yourself or to me. And then he got away quickly. She and then she looked at me and she says. Now I'm going to get a pistol. I understand it. I, I understand. Said, Power to the people. Oh, fuck. I <coughs> Holy shit. You heard it here first, man. She's she fucking loves the guns. They just these fuckers. They want it to be like the Wild West, and they have all these fantasies from watching their cowboy movies growing up and shit. And they want to be out there fucking pulling guns on people. This is fucking evidence that motherfuckers like this should not have access to firearms, man. Some some people in the chat think the girl was a hooker. <laughs> she was the girl from Craigslist, <laughs> oh, right? Yeah, yep. She's a lady of the night. There you go, honey child. You're Derek Savage. This is me thinking. I just made a new convert, baby. This guy eats this a lot of hooker pussy, you someday. can tell. Guys, this film is being closed captioned now. It's going to be coming out soon to you. Gun self-defense for ladies. Closed captioned. Now, I'll tell you what. Yeah, he wants to make sure, you know, hearing impaired people can also witness the masterpiece. You can of, lose your hearing at the gun range. Very maybe easily. there are more hearing impaired people, you know, because they haven't had to listen to him or Cool Cat, so <laughs> they might actually think it's good. But you know me, you already know I'm going to plug Cool Cat. <laughs> He's out of school. He ain't here right now. <laughs> He's like, you know me, you know I'm going to plug this garbage some more. <laughs> <laughs> He's at He's school, though. He ain't here. He ain't here short video for you okay just let you know get a <laughs> ccw ladies men it's a crazy world out there it's different you got to protect yourself okay cool cat kids superhero is an anti-bullying and kids gun safety film but in it they find a gun and we show kids what to do you know don't i want to see a movie if he wants to make a movie that'll sell it should be cool cat versus barney man Whoa. it'll be like this guy going out there after fucking barney the dinosaur and then he finds out Barney's not even real, man, and it's just the <laughs> dude that's teaching Tantra to motherfuckers. You think he could get the rights to Barney, though?
Uh, no, be a tough one, man. Uh, he can they get the rights to did for U- death to Smoochie. He can get the rights to Oogie Loves. No one's using that. <laughs> You know what? He's got bigger problems. First of all, he's got like the balding man's version of the flock of seagulls haircut oh, going on. No. It's it's so bad. Stay calm, go to your parents and teachers. That doesn't help us with this with the school. Oh, shooting. God. <laughs> and that's what comes to my brand new film. That Is that like was that one of the Road Warriors haircuts? Was that Hawks <laughs> haircut? Yeah, man. Maybe he was in the Misfits. It is kind of a Misfits looking. Cool cat stops a school shooting, a school Fuck. safety film. Hey, we're we're out there trying to help our help our children stay safe. Our stay children? <laughs> Got to help our children stay safe. Children. I want to see this movie. Cool Cat stops a school shooting. Like what? How does what what the fuck is in this movie? Man? Yeah, and uh, Eric Estrada and Vivica Fox are in it. You see them on the bottom. He must have like a porn video starring both of them, like hidden, locked away somewhere, because they keep being in these fucking terrible movies. Are are they in the movies again, yes. or is he just reusing their oh. footage? No, no, no. He gets them somehow. He gets them to be in these fucking movies. I don't know if he, and they're only in it for like five minutes or whatever. I don't know if he tosses them 500 bucks each or something. He probably just gives them an eight ball of coke. I, th- I think he's got some fucking dirt on them. I don't even think, so. I, dude, it's Eric Estrada, man. He's he's like, oh, Cool Cat, I would love to do some work again. Put me in Cool Cat. Maybe Eric Estrada and her are really furries and they don't want anybody to know about it. And they get into this yeah, kinky Eric shit where they dress Estrada. up in these... Eric, oh, notice how we never see Cool Cat and Eric Estrada in the same place. Is it? <laughs> oh shit! And and uh, and uh, Cool Cat's mom is Vivica Fox. <laughs> it's all I thought, together. I thought Cool Cat's mom had you know what uh, appeared to be an impressive rack. So definitely, definitely, so Vivica cool, Fox. Cool Cat's mom is Vivica Fox in the in the the and Derry and Daddy Derek man he's getting all up in that shit. So Daddy Derek smashed Vivica Fox and they they had a cat. Yeah, and and Cool Cat lays there and and is forced to watch and cries the whole time, and that's Eric Estrada. Fuck. Life and and you know I'm trying to help the lady folk because I love lady folk. Hey, <laughs> oh my god, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure they love being called lady folk you for know, one thing. I, I love to help the lady folk, and his teeth start jarring out like he just got done eating a sloppy, disease-ridden vagina. Derek, that's not savage. That's icky. You're icky, Derek. Stay safe in this crazy world. And God bless you. <laughs> and Cool Cat loves you. <laughs> cool Cat is the laziest fictional character creation in the history of the world. Like, literally, the stick figures I drew in the first grade were better than Cool Fucking Cat. Terrible, lazy garbage. <laughs> Did your stick figures know how to rock and roll like Cool Cat? Yes. Damn. Yes. And they had a better guitar than an Eddie Van Halen autographed guitar. I can guarantee you that. Damn. Cool cat likes to rock and roll. Cool cat will smoke your pole. Ben, why cool do I sense cat some will jealousy? Pull a gun on you if you're black. <laughs> no, cool the cool, cool, cool black. cat will lick your sack. <laughs> Yeah, this is crazy. This dude just fucking, he's trying to teach gun safety and say he's in a position to teach gun safety, yet he's pulling his fucking weapon and pointing it at someone just because they came up, they approached them on the street, and he's fucking waving a loaded weapon in their face. This dude's a fucking nut, man. What the fuck? Uh It could have been I hate everything. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, look at that awesome movie poster. <laughs> He's got a couple of soccer moms on the poster yeah. with him. I don't know how he gets people to agree to appear in these films. Oh, it's L.A., man. Everyone yeah. wants to be an actor. Uh, not even once do they they go to take the gig, and they don't want to back it's, out of the gig in case it goes to something better. It's fucking terrible in the Cool Cat movie because they just film it in some neighborhood. It's not a closed set. And you could see people like walk outside and notice there's people filming a movie across the street and they like slowly sneak back into their house. (laughs) (sighs) 
Lovely. You know, uh, w- when I lived in Albuquerque, they were they were still filming Breaking Bad, and everybody found out where the house was that they used yeah. uh, for Walter White's house, and people in the fucking neighborhood were pissed. They were not only uh. they were not only pissed that people were like blocking off the neighborhood. But also that, like, all these tourists and people that were fans of the show would show up to, like, get their picture taken in front of the house. And they would show up and just throw a pizza on the roof of the house. <laughs> I don't... Yeah. They probably actually did, they did do that. Yeah, they did. You know what? I used to go to that pizza restaurant where they got that fucking gigantic pizza from. Do they slice the pizzas at the restaurant? They do. They okay. do. Obviously, the tossing the pizza on the roof wouldn't have worked if they yeah. had it sliced, so... I, I think they wrote into the script later in a later episode. We, we you cut your own pizza to save save you money or something. It was like a little thing on the. Yeah, that's the not true. They they don't actually do that. But yeah, yeah that is an unbelievably huge pizza that they sell there. Let's move on to the next video. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, Daniel Hyberger here. Hi, Danny. Out of Roanoke, Virginia. Ooh. Uh, it's March twenty first. 2018 Wednesday at 10:30 in the morning. It and looks it's like it's cold. Yeah, it looks like it's really fucking cold. His breath is you know, heavy. You know, if you have to if, if you have to live in the south, you might as well live somewhere warm in the south. You know? Like like the the part of the south that's up north, like Kentucky and Virginia and shit. Get the fuck out of there. It's not that easy, though, right? Most people die within 10 miles of where they were born. It's just we're not creatures of travel. We're creatures of safety. We we, 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 we have packs. We have uh, tribes. Uh, you know what? With them. I just see, uh, I, I see Pans interacting with the chat. The last oh. man question. Ah, uh, yes. Someone was asking about the if I finished watching this uh, French cartoon called Last Man. Oh, okay. You know what? At the end of the show, we're gonna we're gonna go through all the questions. If you guys yeah. have questions for him here now, you can send them in now. We'll read them in uh, at the end, but then also we'll open some time for you to send them in live too. Okay. Uh, the other day, I saw a video online of a lady from Lynchburg who gathered up snow off of her porch, tried to set it on fire or melt it with a lighter, and it turned black, and she claimed it smelled like plastic. Uh, she also referenced the skies being sprayed heavily with chemtrails and this of that nature, calling this a... <laughs> when you hear chemtrails, it's like, fuck. Oh, it's it's like a dead ringer. Like, yeah, yeah this says no troll. What's your position on chemtrails, Evan? Oh, well, you know... Oh, God, you had to ask. <laughs> You know, my my heavenly son, the brother of Jesus, Prince, he believed that chemtrails were being dropped on us to, you know, experiment on the population. And every time the chemtrails were in the sky, everyone in the neighborhood would be fighting with each other. Mom and dad fighting with the kids, everyone fighting, everyone arguing. He really believed. But, you know, that's what Prince possible. said. Yeah. Prince was Prince was a big Prince said when they drop the chemtrails, it makes families fight. Yeah. So it could be, man. It could be. They're doing something, man. They're, they're putting something in the chemtrails that are making everyone gay. <laughs> Turn the goddamn frogs gay. Product of government engineering. I think her video is real. Um, that being said, I want to do my own test. So uh, it started snowing last night. Let me put my gloves on because I don't feel like freezing. It started snowing last night. And uh, it's been falling all morning. The roads are pretty clear. It didn't freeze to the roads. Even the sidewalks are somewhat melted. But um, I got some snow here on the porch, on the railing, untouched. Gather it up. Oh, wow. he's gathering snow, dude. So he's saying it, it acts like plastic, man. Maybe the Truman Show is right, and we're all just on a movie set right now, here. and they're dropping plastic on us. Calling it snow, man. <laughs> There's a lot of people that suffer from like the Truman Show psychosis, where they really believe they're in a a television program like that. It's um, just... I kind of have a bit of those beliefs, sort of. You think you're in a television show? Somewhat, because I don't always feel things are a little too convenient. But there's also another part of me that feels like all these coincidences stick out to us more, and we just not we never give the non coincidences a second chance, you know? 
The second David thought. Bowie said in the Life on Mars song, we're in the best-selling show, man. We are in a fucking reality TV show that aliens are putting on. We're, this whole planet is just a reality show that aliens watch throughout the galaxy, man. And they fucking mm -hmm. watch everything. It's like, and so they have technology that can see what is going on on our planet and watch it like a movie, man. Do you think it's the happening. aliens fap to us? Oh, yeah, dude. They fap yeah. to us. They make clones of us, man. They can buy a clone of Billy the Fridge, and then a reptilian can fucking eat you for dinner, man. Oh, God. Hell, yeah. Uh-oh, I'm taking over the crazy people segment. Back to this dude. <laughs> I'm a, yeah, I know. I'm a little scared <laughs> between the Bat Boy and the fact that they're going to eat my clone body. Oh, Pan, what, what, what do you think about this, uh, this guy here? You think he's going to deliver us some real science right now, or do you think he's a total fuck-off and he's about to I let us down? Is it, unless that thing melts like an actual piece of plastic, I, I don't know what to believe anymore. Yeah, let's let's get the reveal. Let's see what the fuck this guy's doing. Hey, I haven't done anything other than just scoop it up off the porch. All right, let's see what happens. I can see the shit getting singed. Guys, it's not melting. Not one drip. Okay, it's not Matter flammable. Fact, it's Do you black. know why it 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 doesn't black it doesn't snow. melt? There's no drips because the amount of particles that the snow it is smells condensed like at, they evaporate with the heat before right. they can drip. Right, they go from solid to gas immediately. Yeah, you don't even see the liquid stage. Or plastic. Smells like burnt plastic, though. He's he's sure of it. <laughs> it doesn't just smell like butane after it's been gassed out for the last 34 seconds, barreling into a snowball that smells like nothing before it gets caked in char and butane. Hmm. 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 Back to the kitchen. I smell yeah. something burning. <laughs> you guys, so you guys down, ever Obama. smoked weed out of a snowball before, man? No. No, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Man, oh my god, a snow that, bomb? That should Damn. be a, a merit badge in Boy Scouts For or something. Real. The first so one living in Northern States. <laughs> Hell yeah. Stick. I swear to goodness, Roanoke, Virginia, go outside right now. Try it for yourself. It's not melting, not dripping. Black. Yeah. Plastic. This guy's obviously never heard of the capillary effect. Oh my god. <laughs> Embarrassing. What is this? What is this? It's, it's the fucking... It's burnt snow. Yeah, it's all the fuel that was left over from the lighter that, that dissipated into the snow. That's why it's that's why it's like that, you psycho. Yeah. Oh shit. Here's, a, here's an... In oh, you know what? Before we continue with, uh, with this segment, uh, feel free to ask... Pan, some of the questions we didn't get to earlier. All right, Pan. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell us, tell us about your podcast. Uh, it's an animation podcast. Although sometimes we just get random people in there, and we're like, "Hey, let's all make fun of Pan," and that's all they do. Because I'm the uh, apparently the worst member of my own podcast, so you know. Oh. <laughs> well, why are you so bad? <laughs> Look, I'm, I handle being scripted much better than I am unscripted, you know? And also everyone's mean. Like, I had my little niece. Well, she's not my niece. It's just a, kind of a weird kink we have with each other. That What are you talking we, about? What? <laughs> okay. what, are you, what do you want about? And I have my little, my supposed niece, you know? It's normal. It's normal. This, okay, <laughs> is there an actual little girl in your basement right now? <laughs> Well, she's like 20, but we like to... Pr well, I like to... Pr oh Did you God. hear him laugh? I thought that was her <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Get me out of here! This guy's fucking crazy! <laughs> oh, man, you should see my fucking Let's Plays. <laughs> with with your niece? Holy shit. <laughs> Let's play with your niece is what you're saying? This is Occasionally, yeah. We were playing Mario Sunshine and stuff, you know. You know. If she's 20, it's fine. It's fine. And she's she's not my knees. It's just a role playing act, you know. So, but so, she exists, and she's twenty. 
She's regal. She's regal. It's fine. I, I like how many times world. he said, she's 20, she's 20, she's 20. She's 20. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad. Uh, it's so very like, important. So is it like, is your basement like Onision's basement? Do you like lock people down there and shave their Who head? That? And It's a nice basement. Who that? Yeah, who's Onision? Oh, uh, he's he's a guy from YouTube. He he was pretty popular for a while. Basically, um, do you keep this your niece in your basement and then punish no. her by by making her get tattoos and stuff on her forehead or her uv- uvula? Well, there was that one time where uh, Suicide Squad was coming out, and she's like, "Oh my gosh, I love Jared Leto," and she got a sharpie and like uh, put uh, damage on her forehead and stuff, and you know. That's you disgusting. Know, I, I was yeah. Harley Quinn. What sort of sick shit is this? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think you ever seen my videos or anything. This is this is just too disturbing. I just can't handle this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, d- this oh, is your you full time job. Oh, you you ever you know the time I lost my baby, right? What the fuck? Let's hear about that. Okay, so, well, it was in the Neopets Let's Play. I uh, just look up Rebel Taxi Neopets Let's Play. Skip to nine minutes in where I'm talking to my ex. Uh, her name's Cheryllism. We were talking about... <laughs> we were talking about how, I don't know, our, our parents weren't home one night, and <laughs> we kind of did things, and I got her pregnant. Cool. And the baby um, didn't make it? Well, we had the baby for few weeks and let's you know let's not talk about that if you want just look up the neopets let's play rebel taxi skip to nine minutes in it'll explain everything let's drop that i'm kind of getting tired of uh the messages i keep receiving for that you brought it up (laughs) (laughs) pen you brought it up and then you stopped and now i feel like we might have uncovered some sort of sick crime you're a part of oh no he said he lost the baby that just means he could have set it down somewhere and forgot where he put it man that's a crime you can't just forget (laughs) where you put a baby (laughs) that is a crime (laughs) it's fine Hey, Casey, Any other way. questions? We More questions? Told the police, like they've been notified. There's nothing we could we could have done. Okay. Okay. Well, the last question here is: <laughs> it says it's the real question, and we kind of touched on this earlier, but this is a little more specific. Who's your favorite cartoon goth girl that oh, isn't uh, Raven from Team Titans? Damn. Yeah, Ooh, I, I forget who I put on number two on my uh, top ten goth girls video. Cartoon <laughs> goth girl. Yeah, it looks like Emily probably. Benjamin and I were actually talking ah. about how I wish there was more goth girls around yeah. w- on the ride here, and he was like, "Dude, go back to two thousand three. No, no, you said emo girls. Emo isn't it the same e- no, thing. No, no, no. What's it's the different. difference? There's a difference, but it's complicated. I'm, I'm goth not far enough goth to came that before out. emo. Emo like came later. Okay. Yeah. Seems but, like the same know, thing to me. Both derivatives of punk. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, no, totally different. Especially totally different. I mean, okay. Yeah, man. Goth it, it's different. Are pussies, man. Oh, okay. Rude. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm trying to be funny, well, man. When I when I said emo girl, I think I meant goth girl. I, I I don't need her to be one of those wrist cutters. I can't even talk to you about this, Billy, because you're so oh, misinformed. I'm can't sorry. Even... Then Ben started singing My Chemical Romance no, to I me. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. No, you're I the didn't. one who brought up My Chemical Romance. Because I wanted you to sing it to me. I don't know. I don't know any. <laughs> so oh, do, do you have your number two? Can, uh, sing my, my, my Chemical Romance songs. Your, your little sister is just like your niece. My sister. Sisters, yeah, the C I S Ters. Ah, yeah, Emily Vasquez and Stephanie Vasquez. Yeah, are they twins? Oh yeah, they're twins. Yeah, they, they right. like to sing at the end of my podcast. You know, you want me to bring them in? <laughs> Is that what they call it these days? Yeah, sing at the end of my podcast. <laughs> Sure, that's what they call it. <laughs> I'm, I'm convinced that Pan is the real Joker from Batman, man. No. I think so. <laughs> I love your laugh, man. Oh yeah, okay. go <laughs> ahead. Yeah, go ahead and have your sisters sing for us. Oh, hang on, Emily, get in here. <laughs> What's up, 
motherfuckers! It's me, Emily Vasquez, the greatest <laughs> god in the fucking world! <laughs> That's her. Holy fuck. Wow! Man! Nor Norman Bates has nothing on you, Pan. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> really? All right. All right. So here's an interview with uh, one of Billy's favorite musicians. Oh, God. Please. Hmm. Hey, guys. Uh, Eric Jordan here from WYRK and Dan Ranelli from Mix 96. Well, you probably are wondering why we're actually together. Why are we together? Why are Mix and WRK together. Well, it sounds sacrilegious, I know. <laughs> we are sister station, which means we uh, we both work for Town Square Media, and we were big fans of each other and friends, so we thought... We are actually friends, right? What we're actually friends. Today, because this is close to both of our hearts, right? Absolutely, we're big fans. We're big fans. We're talking about the superstar that is Sarah Trim. We're so cheesecake. We're so cheesecake. Uh, just, let's just, just... So, what... Uh, Billy's favorite music video. It's not uh, my favorite. We're, we're so cheesecake. I don't uh, like this it is, at all. This is the mastermind behind the the number one uh, international hit in her radio interview that couldn't just happen on one station. Two stations yep. had to get together for this. Yep. What the fuck? Part of the video for a second here. It's a four minute parody, right? Around four minutes yeah. of uh, Iggy Azalea's uh, "Fancy." I'm so fancy. Yeah, fancy. Fancy. Yeah. Right. And uh, to the tune of cheesecake lyrics, and uh, this guy looks like he's you know, actually like, Derek Savage's son. I this, is, this is a parody. I could have swore Iggy Azalea ripped her off, man. Fuck you. <laughs> She's only about a, st a stone's throw away from this chick, man. I don't know. I'm not an Iggy fan. Right, and <sighs> the video has gone super viral. We'll talk about like 100, what, 130,000 well, views right now? I think over 150. Wow. 150,000. More than the average Billy the Fridge uh, rap video, I would Bullshit. say. Bullshit. <laughs> Which is crazy because yeah, um, we high five after 20. <laughs> we're like, we have 15 views on that. Yes. What a day. We're superstars. Right. right anyway, yeah. Yeah, so it's pretty exciting. And we were out to dinner last night. They've got a yeah, real celebrity on there. showing off his new iPhone 6, so he had six a new case. I just this, this, this is an old interview. I got the new iPhone 6. Yeah, yeah. Five. So anyway, we're like, ah, let's go to Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, we got the case, and we said, let's go get some dinner. And, and I'm... Oh, go ahead. What, didn't I show you the video literally, like, maybe... Uh, earlier that day, right. Earlier. Yeah. When I was finishing up my show on Mix 96, 3 to 7. Mix and, 96. Uh, yeah, anything to get some viewers at this point. Um, yeah, and we're like... Look at this video. Wow, like, not only I mean these guys are terrible at the radio too. <laughs> what do you think made it go viral? Um well the whole reason why we made the video was for a corporate competition and it was about why you're happy to work in the Cheesecake Factory. So I we got this message on Hot Schedules, which is like our online portal for our scheduling, and I was like, Oh my gosh, I need we need to make a music video. This is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> And I make YouTube videos for like just. I make pleasure. YouTube videos. Yeah, you were you were stalking her YouTube channel earlier. Yeah, I was like, I was like, oh my god! Now that I know where her YouTube channel is, I have to see if there's anything redeeming about this human because I am a very positive human being. All right, and if I can find good in somebody, I'm gonna I'm gonna find it. That's why I'm friends with Onision, Martin Shkreli. Kim Jong Un. <laughs> no, but I wanted to give her a chance. I wanted to give her a chance. Goofy. Okay. So you have experience in that. Has she yeah. done oh. any other shit on her channel? Is this her only rap? Hi, welcome to the Cheesecake ah. Factory. How are you guys doing today? Oh, Stop. yeah. Can we get two waters, please? Oh, come on, Billy the Fridge. Thing, Dance with it, man. Waitress. I'm smart and got my bachelor's degree. Degree. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she, okay. Here. She has other shit on her page. Like, she's literally made a diss track to everybody that told her to kill herself after making the cheesecake song. Yeah, yeah. She's like, and it's it's really bad. It's not as bad as cheesecake, but it might be. I'm not Ooh. sure. I don't know which I would, one I hate worse. But the fact that she's talking about Twitter, people. Somebody tweet out this episode to her, because I would love to see her battle rap Billy the Fridge. I'd love to see her come out with a <laughs> bro we, cutting a promo on you. Should we try and get her on the show? 
Should we try to get her on the show, Governor? Sarah, you can maybe Sarah, perform do you this want, song live, dude. Wouldn't do you want to awesome? do cheesecake live? Billy, Billy is the only person I know that has uh, an unintentional English accent. Well, the only <laughs> the only non English person I know that has, a, and, and it's always a question. <laughs> you ask a question when I get like you should be a fucking chimney sweep in fucking Mary Poppins. Or when something. I get inquisitive, I get very um, English with it. Should I, should I sweep the chimney for you, Gubner? Little Benjamin? No. But I'm still in the restaurant business. Guess I'm. Ah, <laughs> okay, fine. okay. All right, all right. No. All right. Um, I, I never uh, seen this. I want to. I want to. Oh, oh, you, oh, you, you want to see, see some more? Lessons in allergenics. Should I know if there's gluten in this? Drop it off and check back just like this. Slice of Adam, slice of Craig, slice uh, of Chris. Slip resistant doesn't mean they ain't still slipping. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, uh, I, I've watched it too many times recently. No, I've watched it. The, the Before I watched it, I had watched it too many times. All right. This shouldn't be watched. The fact that this has hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube tells me that maybe those death threats that people sent to this girl oh. just maybe just maybe she mm. should consider her life uh, a failure and, and, and work to change it <laughs> she, should so work, mean. she should work to improve like I, I'm not saying she should kill herself because you know what that doesn't oh, okay. fix anything it doesn't but the fact that so many people tell her she should kill herself maybe she should stop doing shit parodies I don't know it was for a feel? work competition, Billy. Yeah, but then she legitimately did another parody afterwards saying oh. that she shouldn't kill herself and suicide's not a joke, which it isn't. But when you do it in the form of a parody, you trivialize both the suicide and your own feelings for getting lashed out against having people tell you to kill yourself. Slip resistant doesn't mean you ain't still uh, slipping. Shut the fuck up, Ben. <laughs> Look at the look at him slipping. All right. So what I want you to do is pretend like you're slipping really quick, okay? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Taking all the orders right, never miss ring in prep because we bring an '86 back. Bring the food in. Where my drinks at? Martini spilling. You should taste that. We're so uh, fancy. Oh. See your tasting clothes. We're the best cheesecake. From L.A. to Buffalo. I walked by the Cheesecake Factory this weekend, and I almost lit it on fire. No, I, no. I bet you you started singing hey. the song to yourself. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. I got some yep. good I uh, su hot, sweet and sour chicken. Or was it orange chicken? What stuff's good? Oh, from Cheesecake Factory. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what. They have a fucking huge menu. I wonder how much of that shit is, like, frozen and microwaved. Mm. Like they pre cook it and like microwave it. Probably all is right. It's, yeah. No, I mean like some of the stuff they probably cook to order, but what like a steak with a menu that size? I don't know. It's hard to have to make all of that to order. You know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like, because like Olive Garden has everything prepped as well, right? No, I don't know about everything, but B enough. Pretty, pretty much. The Cheesecake Factory, Olive Garden, Red Lobster, they're all pretty much the same thing, right? They're just different hooks. No, they need the to make trash a movie, food. Billy and the Cheesecake Factory. It'll be like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, <laughs> except they'll have this bitch singing this song. for the <laughs> Billy for and the, the Cheesecake music, right? Factory? I want it. Oh, I no. want it. You go into the fucking tunnel. You see all the co the food being prepared. You see a a, a chicken getting its head chopped off. <laughs> yeah. In a world of pure pure hatred, degradation, man. you will see. I will be strangling her. <laughs> <sighs> I. I I do not like this at all, and the fact that it's become a thing pisses me off. I wish that video of you falling out of the refrigerator <laughs> was on the internet, man. I need to find that and get you a copy. It was all right. I, uh, that, that, <laughs> I love this. We'll just close up on a refrigerator in the Cheesecake Factory kitchen, pull out, and show me fall out of it, and then that's basically the end of my life. <laughs> Kill me, kill me now. Who needs to live past that? Everything that bad that could happen to me has happened to me already. I fell out of a fucking fridge in the middle of a church, and I've watched this cheesecake video more times than I've probably watched shit I enjoy. Oh, yeah. No, this will drive you to suicide watching this shit, man. It made me physically ill. 
<laughs> My butt hurts from watching this. I don't know how that happened. How does that happen? I need a butt massage, Ben. Massage my butt. No. Please. Nope. Unimpressive. <sighs> Use games, MVP, oh, yeah. trades, and pre-orders. So let's go down to the game for Zelda Scott. So uh, this is a training video for some chain of game stores that I don't believe exists anymore. I remember no. this store. We had one uh, near my house. No, it wasn't near near, but it was in the neighborhood. It, it was next to a Hollywood video. It was built yeah. inside of a Hollywood video. This was the shit. That will take us through our keys to the game. Zelda. Game crazy, yeah. Thanks, Casey and BP. I'm down here in... Oh, yeah. Yeah, this girl, she talks like she's from the hood. <laughs> you know, and her name is Zelda, so you know GC she knows video posse games, To get the 411 on Game oh, Crazy. Let's start with the hardware. This is like a gamer's ride, dog. And it's so <laughs> right, dog. This is like a gamer's ride, ride dog. dog. You got a better chance of selling some 20-inch chrome rims later. Know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. <gasps> is this How legitimate, man? Is this yes. a troll or not a troll or what? No. No, this is a legit, legit training fuck. video. Oh, is this, my God. Is this, do, I hint, do I detect a hint of subtle, like, racism, man? Are they like? I don't think so. I think it's just ridiculous. Ebonics? They're using Ebonics in their fucking video, man. I think they were trying to look cool. But don't worry, the black guy intro the video, so it's not racist, right? Uh, the key fuck. here is to sell them the system that's right for them so that they'll keep coming back for more accessories and games. I hate that and she's dipping in and games, out of the Ebonics. Game Crazy's got all the fly new game titles, nope, it's back. but we've also got the mad hookup when it comes to used games. And they can't hate on our used games because they play like new, come with a 90-day guarantee, and they cost less. Booyah! <laughs> oh my god. Booyah, I say. Booyah. Booyah, I exclaim. I don't this know, is man. The urban retailer for video games, this man. Is cultural appropriation. No. No. She's from the streets, okay? God. This is the problem, though, right? Like, this isn't cultural at all. This is just <laughs> the, the parody of. <laughs> Of culture, right? There's, there's no way she's stealing actual culture here. No. This is, oh. this is just anyways, gross this woman white was born people. Black man, she's just got Michael Jackson's disease and vitiligo. I think this is the daughter from the the Russian spy that got poisoned, and now we were blaming it on Russia. They actually just poisoned them because they saw this fucking video and they're like, "Bitch needs to die." Yeah, is, it has nothing she's to do setting with black people back several years. Like she did to black people, what what a soul plane did to black people. <laughs> soul plane was good. <laughs> now, for the yeah. real hardcore sure. players, the ones that are crazy tight with the GC, oh we've got God. the MVP card. The MVP card means upfront revenue for Game Crazy and higher trade values, special discounts, and exclusive tournaments for the players. Trades you know are Game saying? Crazy for the players. The players, oh, These... not gamers. Players. Do you think there's something the '90s knew about us that? We would remember information more if we were cringing during it. Maybe. Like, because this mm. is. I cringed all through high school, so. Yeah. Makes crazy dollars, and players can get mad values. Mm. It also means that Game Crazy's got the used game hookups on the latest games. And finally, pre orders. Now, this is for the real serious players, the ones who've got to get the new games first and beat them before anyone else. They can check out our Reserve Now board. Check out our product slicks in the Reserve Now binder. Our product slicks in the Reserve Now binder. Play us. Who, who was like, uh, let's let's take a soccer mom and make her speak Ebonics as part of this training video? Well, that sounds funny, right? It would make me want to quit. <laughs> <laughs> it well, would make me want to quit. They, they originally hired a black actress, man, but she got shot by the cops the night before. Oh. So they had to have this white woman step in. Whoa! Whoa. So there was, there was no, no cultural appropriation. Man. Oh. Colors down, and they've got a reservation at the hottest game spot in town, Game Crazy. Her eyes well, are crazy as fuck that's looking. That's it from down on the floor, y'all. This is Zelda Scott, and those are the keys to the game. Peace out. Uh, thanks.
Where'd the other guy go? I'd probably recommend a Sony PlayStation 2. It has some great racing titles. You can play up to four players at once. You can play DVD movies. And while it's not the best online system, you can definitely tap into it later on down the line if you decide to go that route. Ah, uh, great suggestion. What a lucky kid. Wow, sounds great. I think that's what I need. Oh, it's a great choice. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is set you up with some accessories, a DVD remote, a wireless controller, and we're going to have to get you some memory cards to get you started. Perfect. This is wrong. Okay. This is all Perfect. wrong. What he's supposed <clears throat> to say is, damn, honey, don't you know these damn games I got as tight as fuck? I'm telling you, man, these games, you put them in there, man, you're going to be playing for days, my brother. Get this shit, bruh. Don't worry about your player's card. We got memory cards. And there's the ad. He's really selling the ultimate gaming experience, Keith. Let's go down to the floor with Zelda. Who's oh, damn. All right, here she goes. By with Ryan. Fuck. Ryan, dog, that was the bomb diggity, my friend. How'd yep, you do kill it, me. dog? Well, <laughs> that was bomb diggity. Oh. Zelda, actually it was really simple. I just found out what she was looking for. I needed to know who was going to be playing the system, what kind of games her son was going to be playing, what she could afford, and then what kind How of features she might could want fit later on vagina. down the line. I suggested the right system with the right accessories, built trust and a relationship, and after that it was easy. <laughs> Well, we'll build trust in a relationship. Way, I'm so glad it. that Back the game crazy you, employees got to watch this before they sold me my fucking Dreamcast. This oh, is very thank important. You, Zelda. God, how far we've come. So, what'd you think? Looks good. I'm hooked on this huge thing. Sold! The demo always clinches it. Great. Well, if you like that, free, I've also man. got ESPN football used and NCAA Bring football. Bring them on. Zelda, what's her Here we seat? go. Hey, girlfriend, what's the dilly, yo? What's the dilly, yo? <laughs> what's the dilly pause, Yeah, yo? The, the pause almost makes it seem like she knows it's fucking ridiculous and she's hamming it up. Well, she, that's, yeah, she's definitely hamming it up. She knows it's ridiculous. She didn't walk in, Ben, saying, you know, today I'm going to try something new. <laughs> I'm going to do it hip. It's obviously it's supposed to be a, a fucking tongue-in-cheek scenario, but even that, Ben, is, is, Thanks, Bill is Dog. fucked up, Bill Dog. I'll fucking kill you. I'll, fuck, I'll <laughs> Bill fucking, dog, I'm Bill dog, fucking hair Bill Dog. Hashtag Bill Dog. Shut the fuck up. Damn it. <laughs> B-I-L-L-D-O-double-G. Bill Dog. Stop. Well, Zelda, used games are just great value. When I told him about his savings and the 90-day guarantee, it just really got his interest. The demo was just to reassure him he was getting a quality product. That was a clincher. Well, big ups to I think they might have filmed this at my game crazy. Cheesy. K money? <laughs> K money kill. Thank you, Zelda. Those games that you've already B where'd money. The, where'd the guy from the intro go? Why'd they switch him out for some non He's just in white, white guy? He's in white face now. Oh fuck. He Actually, no, complete the role. He was shot by the cops on his lunch break. Wow. How many people were <laughs> shot in this video? That's sad. <laughs> Bad eaten, neighborhood. How many fucking people are locked in your basement and Shut uh, up, that's a lie. Hispanic sisters that sing uh, baritone? My, my nieces <laughs> will consent or nieces, to sorry. This whole thing, okay? For credit. Those were sisters. I mean I can Oh yeah, yeah. His nieces in his basement, his sisters <laughs> singing there, uh, baritone. There is no basement. I live in Texas. There are no basements in Texas. We have uh, attics. Oh, oh, that's only something uh, someone with a basement would want us to think. What Damn. the Billy dog? Take the games I've got at home. There's no in, basement in the Alamo. In and get new games for less. That's right. Well, I can't do that over at Best Buy. I'm definitely coming here to get all my games. Got him. Great. Well, in that case, you're definitely going to need... That is one thing I've learned, like, getting a job for a company. Like, they bash the fucking competition in your training. They basically <laughs> condition you to... Like, if you work at Wendy's, they condition you to fucking hate McDonald's. We don't freeze our meat like McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. McDonald's food is basically dog food. We wouldn't serve that trash to our customers. MVP card. MVP? Did I hear that right? Zelda, what's going on down there? You heard it right, K-Dog. Gale is getting extremely jiggy with it by going- <laughs> What the fuck? Bill Dog, you're getting jiggy!
I am not getting extremely you jiggy. You are getting with it. not only jiggy, but extremely jiggy with it. I'm getting jiggy. Did you notice how I dropped the T from the from the word with? You getting jiggy with it. <laughs> you dropped the H, not oh. the T. Oh, did I? You dropped the H, Benjamin. Oh, you're right. I kept the T and dropped the H. Yeah. If you would have dropped got, the T, it would have been wet. Wet. Which is better? Wet. Getting jiggy wet. I, I, I have no street cred, so tell me which is better. I'm going to smack Ziggy, you. Ziggy wet. I'm gonna, you know what? Or Ziggy. <laughs> you, don't, you don't cower when I say I'm going to hit you, so that's, not, that's, that's old news now. I'm going to kiss you if you keep fucking around with me. What? No. I'm going to give you kisses, Ben. <laughs> for the MVP. Let's see what happens. Actually, we have a Soul Calibur tournament coming up this weekend. Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur. Sweet. Soul Calibur, great. I'll be here. Hold on. Is this place within half a, a, a mile from a school? He's, he's like, Soul Calibur <laughs> tournament this weekend? I'll pick up the game and win the tournament in two days because Soul Calibur is <laughs> very easy. All right, you got me. She clinches it with the tournament. This guy is got it with the tournament. Crazy. Sign me up for the tournament and give me one of the MVP cards too. Man. Great, you'll be glad you did. Zelda, she really make it snappy, bitch. <laughs> Came up with a big play there. You know it, KC. Give it up, G Unit. You showed oh, some mad no. skills there. First with the trades and then the MVP. You go, girl. How'd you do it? Well, Zelda, trades are a real eye-opener, especially for our new guests. I never miss the opportunity to tell our new guests about the This trading. girl talks Once very, like, how much farther slow, like she's high. Or she, like she's reading it. Yeah. Maybe oh, by reading. the way, one of the, uh, one of the, uh, or two of the spaces on the, uh, what is it? Spin and spew wheel. I keep forgetting the name because we just created it. Yeah, but uh, oh shit! Spin till you spew. Spin till you spew. Wheel is gonna be do a weed. Do a weed. Yep. Why? Mm, yeah, two of them. The two green ones. You know what happens when I do a weed? There. Those are gonna Ooh. be do a weed. Yellow is gonna be tequila. Uh, purple is going to be uh, whiskey. Gr uh, what else? Oh, there's magenta. Yeah, yeah. Whatever that is, the like violet color. Uh, I think that's going to be something else. Uh, we, we have to pick all the liquor. The red ones, since there's Should four red ones. Meister, the four red ones are going to be like spin again. Uh, double. Sh one of them is going to be marked double shot. So basically, if you roll double, you have to spin. Or if, if you spin double, you have to spin again and do a double shot of whatever liquor comes up. One of them would be like If double comes up something. again, it compounds every time. Yeah, every time. If you roll double twice, it's triple. If you roll it three times, quadruple. You can roll double and and then what if it's like fucking five times wasabi? Then what if it's double and then you have to do a double weed? Oh my god, I can't handle that. That's your weakness. I don't. I don't like weed. It got, so it got me way happening? too high. When is this happening? This Saturday. Saturday. This coming this Saturday, Evan, you're invited to join. See, you were there for our last drinking contest. This is a little different. The yeah. drunker we get, the harder the trivia is going to be. So. Mm. It's gonna be epic. I mean, dollars. You should get the Buttricks or Luna in there to spin the wheel for you guys, man. Like, oh. do, 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 I don't. Do. That's probably the suggestion that uh, most of our audience uh, disagrees with you the most. <laughs> <laughs> just don't put, just don't mic them, man. It's just like Vanna White. You, should, you don't put a mic on her unless it's, you know. No, that's that's sexy. So we'll be like, hey, uh, do you want to come in and be on our show, but shut the fuck up like a woman should? Yeah, that's <laughs> not gonna Speak happen. when yeah, spoken yeah. to, that's that's not gonna happen. E money. They should have a woman contest between the two of them, so you can take care of the babies better and wash the dishes better. What the fuck? Do the laundry better? No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm Evan. kidding. There's not a sexist bone in my body unless she wants it to be that bone in. You know what I mean? But then it'll be in your body? Yeah, there's not a sexist it's, bone in my it's, body. It's, it's a part of my body, man. Well, no. There's not a sexist bone in my body unless she wants me to put a bone in my body. The sexiest <laughs> bone in my body is my own boner. You, you put your own boner in your body. It's like, is water that wet? That was man. crunk. That was well, crunk. MVP Fuck card. you. I mean, once the guy realized how quickly it would pay for itself, it was a no-brainer. The guy's a hardcore gamer, so, I mean, it just made sense for him. And the tournament, that put him over the top. The tournament is what pulled him over the, the top. put him over the top. True dat, girl. Home slices? 
truly spectacular, Zelda. You know, you actually have $17 in trading credit here. All we can do is take $5, roll it right onto Final Fantasy. That way you'll have it in your hands the day that it comes out. The trade credit. I didn't see that coming. A great call. That sealed the deal. Where did he Fucking come up with a. that? Great, I'm, let's do that. All right. I'm not it's sure if I'm more pissed off at the the bullshitty bonics that Zelda Scott's doing, or these two guys doing the play by play, making every little move that much more special. They're, they're making he used uh, the tournament. They're making oh, what, re no, retail sales into a sport that needs play by play announcing. Yeah, it's pretty gross. Final Fantasy. We actually just got a copy of Kingdom Hearts traded in. You'll definitely be into this game if you like Final Fantasy. This looks pretty cool. I'll use this for the rest of my credit. <laughs> All right. Final Fantasy is a gateway game. Don't start. Don't this even looks get pretty cool. You know that that girl right there that we just saw with the glasses? That was Jacqueline Glenn before her tit job. No, it wasn't. Yeah. No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> Rydog, that trade credit move was the bomb. Zelda, actually, it was... Do you think she killed herself after filming this? Like, probably not. She's probably got eight kids, and her kids are gonna find this and then kill her. It's really no big deal. I knew that she wanted that game in her hands the day that it came out. By they're talking. They're talking about the sales that. like they're predatory the fucking frat boys. I knew she wanted that dick in her hand the moment she walked oh. in. Oh, you needed to commit. Well, you heard it here, fellas. Ryan is slinging the bling bling to get that paper. That's all from here, Casey. This has been Zelda Scott representing for Game Crazy. Slinging Keep it real. Bling bling Bill Dog, have you been have you been slinging the bling bling for the paper? Get the paper for the paper. Kodak no paper. No, no, I haven't. Well, in Paper Boy, you sling the paper for the bling bling, man. Yep. I just I just want to know if that guy completed the Battle City tournament. That's all I want to know. <laughs> That's, yeah, I know, man. It's like a fucking cliffhanger we'll never get yeah. to see the end of. Sucks, man. Hi, welcome to ah! the ah! All right. <laughs> Stop saying it. so. How fucked up would that be if every time somebody made a donation and played the first 10 seconds of that song? I'd ship them. What is going on here? Are we in KC? What you doing? Hey, we in KC. This nigga. Oh, shit. Is, is this, he just drag his dick through the bushes? Why you throwing shit? Why are you recording, bro? Call the police. I ain't calling the motherfucking police. This is my shit. got his phone. I so ain't call the motherfucking police. This shit's funny as hell. He's in the hospital wearing a hospital gown and someone stole his phone. Where my phone at? Oh, bitch, don't hit me, shit. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> oh. What? Oh! Holy fuck! That was epic, man. Oh. People that are was... too attached to their phones these days, man. Yeah. More attached to his fucking pants. He's out there in a hospital gown chasing down his cell phone. He knows why though, because she's gonna find all this shit, and she ain't ever gonna come back with his car or nothing. He's got no one to visit him. Yo, safely! Let's go find the skater, put a bullet in this box. How have we not gotten this segment yet? The only critter with the good kind of fairy drama. That's because Jesus Christ is my nigga. Ah! Yeah! Oh, come on! Here's a, here's a, a song called Leaning on Dis Syrup. Ooh. It should have been Leaning on Dis Scissorp. Oh, are you Zelda Scott now, Ben? Scissorp, dog. <laughs> Fuck you. That scissorp be off the hizzle. Yeah. I'm a little bad. Piece mm. of hey, I like that kind of tea. Arizona iced tea? Yeah. You get the big jug too, Ice huh? green tea, yeah. Yeah. That exact same thing. I remember, I remember seeing you drinking that the other day. Yeah. Oh, this guy looks hardcore as Fuck. I love wearing sunglasses inside. <laughs> well, he's definitely got skills, right? He's he's definitely uh, mumbling, can't talk. Uh, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I just what don't do you... understand what, what happened to OJ here. What's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> he went blind. 
But they made me because I'm too talented. Lively he has mannerisms of a blind person here. This <laughs> is Ray Charles. Because I'm too talented. This is a troll on a troll, right? He's like, burning money, man. The way he's. It's got magic cards in the background. Yep. What the fuck? This is trolling uh, on a troll. Mario Kart 64, too. You see it? Mario Kart 64 yes, and please. magic cards. It's a that magic is the card. best fucking Mario Kart game 64, man. I'm I just know what's up. I feel the double dash is the best one in terms of like the, the dashing. I'm honestly like a little weirded out by this video. Why is the, why are the magic cards there? Why is the Mario Kart there? He's got Why is the game lean game there? Man. He has a Game Boy Advance, too. I just saw that. He just decided Imagine. to put that around his lean cup? Ever since Biggie Small said Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, when I was young, I couldn't picture this. This guy, <laughs> it's a status symbol to have that Game Boy, man. You know what I mean? It's a status symbol to have that Mario Kart. But, I mean, it was. But this this looks like the video was produced a little later than that. Yeah, for all we know, those magic cards could be worth like ten grand a piece. We don't man. know. Hey. Have that blue loaded, man. Oh shit, berserk! I think the problem is his voice is so low and. Oh yeah, he's playing Dreamcast games in the background. This guy's. I. I means it. I can't tell what he's saying. He just needs to start a gaming channel and quit being a rapper, man, and everything yeah. will work out. Are those I, Viagras on the counter behind there? <laughs> Cyanide pills. See the, he's trying to cure his cancer. The capture device in this computer that we have in the studio is HDMI only, so I had to get the USB one that I have hooked up to so I can play some old Dreamcast and shit, uh, you know, the stuff that mm, requires... Yeah. Uh, Sega Dreamcast. The RCA cables, the, the red... Uh, white and and yellow ones yeah yeah composite yeah composite and then there's remember component too like uh oh, when, yeah. when uh, when i had the wii i got the special component video thing and there's like six of them oh yeah they they, they look slightly better it's not hd but still looks better than the composite cables yeah, when it's like 480 or whatever it was, 480p. 420. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This video is really making me actually interested in this song, but I, I physically can't listen to the song. Look at them peel. Nothing's nothing's registering on my ears. It's just like we got magic cards and coding. We got Mario Kart 64. Who wants to play Dreamcast with me? This is the guy that said uh, point of perspective. You need me. I want the one that they listen to play. See me. And he's, so, me he's like from New Zealand. Again, the 12 Before he was laying in his bed, right? Come through with the pan. This a rap video or a conspiracy video? Yo, I think you better know now. Can you hear me? Man, can you hear like me? Azalea. Azalea. This is like the braille. Male Iggy I think it's so this is no, this Iggy actually, Azalea. this actually is Iggy Azalea. <laughs> this, oh, this shit. is what she looks like when you know she's when she's at home lounging around. Dollar, yeah. when you give me a mu, thinking thick, now, man. riding down a wall, can you hear me? Can you hear me well? <laughs> shit, I got nothing near, spit a grab. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh yeah. He's barefoot. Like okay, I'm giving him points for this dance. Oh yeah. He's, he's getting points for that. Hell yeah, I didn't see those moves coming, man. That was they're out saying, of left field. Uh, they're saying this is a Section 8 New Zealand house. This guy's like in the hood doing the fucking sidestep. He don't give a shit. He's gangster. He's got an altered point of perspective. Okay. Not bad, man. He's the best thing to come out of New Zealand since Peter Jackson. I almost want to put different music to it and like have him dance to it. <laughs> Hell, that's a good idea, man. Hell yeah. You know, mm -hmm. this kind of dance, it made me think back to like, uh, to, uh, 1988, you know, uh, the Running Man or what? Yeah, yeah. So I was gonna have him. I was gonna have him dance to this. Hold on. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. 
I kind of want to see him do this to River Dance. Is this the new meme? Is his dance the new fucking meme? Every genre we can think of will River Dance, the right stuff. This goes with anything. This dance goes with any music. He probably put him with some fucking hardcore metal in the background. A kid. Somebody, somebody, CGI his dance out and put him in the middle of a mosh pit with some fucking grindcore uh, blaring. What? I should. What? What? What other? What other type of dance? Go do river dance real quick. River, river dance. River dance. Okay. I bet you that's just fire with river dance. Yeah, hell yeah, river dance. Fuck yeah, this is gonna match up perfectly, man. Fuck yeah, and it's in portrait mode too. So you know it's. Good. See, it's always live. Nah, uh, it's not. It's not working, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to find something. Shit. Yeah, you gotta look up like something Scottish or some shit. Man. Yeah, look shit. up the Highlander. <laughs> I like. I like New Kids on the Block better. Yeah. <laughs> some. <laughs> oh my God! With the arms, He's yeah. No, this is, is one of the New Kids on the Block. The rise stuff. <laughs> this is really good, actually. Yeah. All right, I'll go back. <laughs> Yeah. Holy shit, that was amazing. The that we had, man, we would go out to the club. <laughs> and you would be on the jam. And we would wow, look how, listen to how tired he is. So, uh, yeah, I was like, when he was fat dancing, I was like, this is kind of Ready amazing for a fat guy to do this. But now he's catching his breath and it's like, competition he might have a heart attack. For a, for a, for a, <laughs> And a hand shake. Man, that's all it takes. He's gonna die, dude. He is gonna die. R.I.P. in peace. I, wanna understand. I bet he's got his nieces in his basement. Damn, we don't oh. break. Okay, so don't fight the moves that we make. Pan, is this you? This. He's the new child molester on the block. Stop the move is. Yeah, he's, he's got this. photos of nude kids on the block. Something oh. <laughs> what a move is. Go like this. <laughs> what the uh, fuck? He's still doing it. He's going at. Quick. How long has this guy been dance. dancing? If you want to dance? Is there any idea what this video quick. was originally called? Feel so move, people could make a remix of this. <laughs> Somebody made a suggestion, and I, I'm gonna take it. Oh, uh, man. So let's get oh, back to him <laughs> dancing. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, where, where, where does he start dancing? Uh, Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh no! Shut oh yeah! <laughs> now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there, I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. Oh. <laughs> This is too good. <laughs> we we uh, gotta put. <laughs> There's so many songs this uh, could go to. <laughs> this guy's killing it. Hell yeah, he is. For real. Oh, oh. And then and then it's like four minutes of him heavy breathing trying to get his shit. I'm crying. I can't. I can't take it. <laughs> it's too good. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Um, that's another one, man. There's got to be another. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, dance song. Uh oh, here I we got, go. Um, here's here's one of my favorites. Uh, this is this is um, a song from the '80s that I like. <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs> this is the best one yet, man. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. 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 Oh All right. Oh my god. Oh. Somebody in the chat said, "Play it with cheesecake." I swear on everything. No. I will. Don't. Don't. <laughs> I will leave. I will leave the fucking shit. room. <laughs> it's like sweet and sour, man. If you put those two together, it might just work, man.
if that happens, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably nut myself. If for so, if somehow that makes it work, it'll it'll be all in. I will just spill everywhere. I can't help that. <laughs> Safety dance. There's so many good options here. Oh yeah. Hi, welcome to the oh, Cheesecake we Factory. Go. How are you guys doing today? Oh shit. Um, can I get two waters, please? Break it down, brother. First thing first, I'm your waitress. I'm smart and got my bachelor's degree. Degree. Nope. But I'm still in the restaurant business. Guess I'm a doctor giving lessons in electronics. <laughs> Should I know if there's gluten in this? Drop it off and check back just like this. Slice of Adam, slice of Craig, slice of Chris. Slip resistant doesn't mean they ain't still slipping. Taking all the orders right, never miss ring. In prep, cause we bring an 86 back. Ring the food in, where my drink's at? Martini spilling, you should taste that. We're so fancy, see our tasting clothes. We're the best cheesecake from LA to Buffalo. Holy shit, dude. It worked, it made the song so much better. Holy fuck, that's all that, that song, song you know, is missing. Even this guy can't dance to it because uh, they they sing it off time. That was the problem. It's not this guy's problem. This guy's like the greatest dancer ever. <laughs> first thing first, I'm a walrus. <laughs> Holy shit. Mac and cheesecake. Everybody knows. <laughs> and a meme was born. Oh, shit. <sighs> Ooh wee man, holy shit dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. Oh shit. Alright, alright, alright. We gotta move on. Oh. <laughs> That's too good. Why 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 is this so funny to me? I can't even handle it. That's really probably the best ever right there is this guy dancing it, it's just it's perfect <laughs> he's so good and so bad everything else but this dance is fucking fire man it's gonna sweep the nation you're gonna hear this on uh good morning america this week you're gonna hear this on the howard stern's gonna be yeah. talking about it if you, you wake up north korea is gonna say this guy was the fucking bomb russia everywhere they're gonna want this fucking guy this is <laughs> we just broke a star tonight Hell yeah, <laughs> Holy shit. I wonder what his MC name is. Captain <laughs> Kiwi? <laughs> uh, this is the, his name's oh, dude. Point of Perspective. <laughs> what about what what about this song? Uh-oh. Here we go. <laughs> Somebody fight! Somebody party! Banging in the welfare line. <laughs> Not sure who's behind. It wasn't mine. <laughs> okay, all right. That is the last fucking one. I swear. Oh, man. I swear. All right. Yeah. Someone said do just a bill. All right. So enough of this disturbing shit. Let's talk more about uh, your nieces. Oh, oh boy. Uh, <laughs> hey, so what, what, what kind of questions you got? Uh oh, you're gonna end I up don't know. You only have one niece, there. right? Oh, man. <laughs> you only so, have uh, one niece. What's going on? But she's 20, right? You're not hiding some she's underage like, nieces on us, right? Uh, I got standards, okay. you know? I'm not like a horrible person or anything. Cool. Cool. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. All right. So we're going to wrap it up soon. Uh, before we go, we're going to do a quick rundown of things that we got. Streamlabs and that kind of stuff. Let's see. Oh, somebody farted. Oh, so we, hey, we hey, got. And if you guys want to send in more questions, feel free. We'll, we'll read them as they come up. Smoke pan hey, every day from Paris Ham. Oh, that guy asked about uh, some show, uh, someone who paid $5 in the chat. Uh, should I answer him? Sure. If you, uh, well, I'm, I'm going to bring them all back up if it happened okay. like during the show. Uh, here's another one. They said, uh, 
You're my favorite. It's Ravenous Bean. You're my favorite cartoon reviewer, Pan. Awesome to see you on DP. Mm -hmm. There's like um, three cartoon reviewers, so that's pretty easy to uh, get a claim for. Hey, you're still the favorite, though. Yeah. you know. Well, how bad would it be if oh. you were the second favorite? Hypothesis uh, is like, how come no one mentions Starfire? Eh, she's okay. Now, Blackfire, she's the one everyone should want, you know? Blackfire? Yeah, okay, Starfire has a sister called Blackfire, and she's oh, like, no and Jean's like, come on, Starfire, we're gonna go to a club and get freaking hammered-ass drunk, which is basically the second episode of the Teen Titans. Hmm. Yeah. What do you think about the Teen Titans movie, man, with oh, yeah. Nicolas Cage as Superman? <laughs> I, I just love that, because I feel like they're going in the same direction as, like, a, a Lego Batman, because Lego Batman, they cast it, um... Billy D. Williams as Two Face, because if you remember in Batman '89, uh, Billy D. was Harvey Dent, and which would mean he would become Two Face. And the moment yeah. they did make a Two Face movie in that universe, <laughs> they got Tommy Lee Jones. I have another uh, question from of your uh, hypothesis: mm -hmm. Are there any female Sonic characters that Pan would want to bang? No. Okay, Rogue. But besides that, no. <laughs> I like, it was like no. Okay, one of them. Are there uh, any male yeah. Sonic characters that if they transitioned, you'd be into? Uh, well, that's kind of offensive, but I don't know. So maybe or not. Which is the least offensive to do? I don't know. Look, if you, <laughs> I if could it's see Sonic, tails being transgender. Well, if well, there I was see, any of them, it'd be tails. Okay, well, someone I've seen, uh, like. I don't think that would be a good idea because most of those characters have spines in their back, so that's not going to result too well. Unless I'm the one Ew. on the bottom, you know. <laughs> Yo, you're the bottom now. Yeah, I, I suppose so. That's usually how it happens. <laughs> Ziggy Smalls for five dollars said, uh, "This bitch is a troll." I'm not sure who they were talking Ooh. about then, uh, but someone said, uh, "Love all you guys, and I love Pan's video." See, you get all sorts of positive hey. feedback. Uh, low energy videos with three fifty uh, aliens. Are demonic. Demonic. Uh, are demonetized? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Dr. Diddles. Tell us the truth, Pan Pizza Man. Are you a virgin or did you have a dumpster baby? <laughs> Look, I said not to talk about that, you know. I, I've... <laughs> What's the name of the vid uh, with the dancing man? Also, I DM'd you the cheesecake girls at okay should we post the dancing man vid on I the drunken peasants twitter i don't remember what website i downloaded it from oh, i'll have God. to go look again or or i'm sorry which channel i downloaded we gotta it from. find it yeah uh paris ham uh also gave us 20 bucks and take my money thank you what else do we got here we got a few patrons too which is pretty cool uh let's see if this one just comes right up Yo, Billy, I love a couple hours. I live a couple hours from Buffalo Cheesecake Factory. We should go there in honor of your favorite song. If she still works there. You get there. a live performance. If she still works there. Should we do Danny a Buffalo listener. meetup? If she still works there. I don't want to go to Buffalo. If I'm going to New York State all the way from Seattle, I'm going to the city. I'm not going to fucking upstate Keemstar New York. Keemstar lives in Buffalo. so that's... I don't give a fuck. He'll travel to the city. Maybe I'll go to visit Keemstar and I'll go get cheesecake at Cheesecake Factory without you, Ben. Okay. Oh. I thought that was supposed to make you jealous. And you no. Come. Shit. Uh, Kirk Cobell, or Kirk Cobell, however the fuck he says his name. If Joe Ho, <laughs> if Senior Ho comes back on the show, do a segment where you feed him a pack to a pack of wild dogs. He might be into I'll that. I'll consider that. That's a, that's a creative decision I can get behind. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what's the name of the video with the dancing man? Or, oh, we already saw that one. Uh, Ziggy Smalls again. I was talking about your troll or not a troll, but you guys are great. Have Pan on again, and hopefully he sets up a basement cam. Would you do that? <laughs> there is no basement. It's like the Alamo. There is none. You know. We want to watch There's... your niece in the basement. Put oh, a cam no. on her. she doesn't approve of this. Nah. Oh, uh -huh. sorry. Look, we, we got attics, we got my regular room, my studio room, which filled with all my collectibles, you know, in case I need to make a video about video games. I got my shelf there to record myself. Like, yeah, I'm tired Pan, of video games. Pan, why are you literally the only good cartoon reviewer on YouTube? Also, I'll spit on you for $10. Oh, man. Um, oh, well, I'm not going to pay $10. That's too much. Like, hmm. Can he pay $10 and then spit There's on you? I'm sure there's good cartoon reviewer 
Wars no. smart reviews is pretty cool. It's only you, Pan. There's it's only you. The world is yours. It's like Scarface. It can be like the, the Make him dance to Mexican music. <laughs> Yeah, I can't. You, man. No, I, I, I can't. I have a phobia of dancing, even in in my own house. Because, like, if I, I played, you know, just dance, right? You know, yeah, you gotta, yeah. You got to actually dance with it on the connect. So I'm kind of always paranoid that uh, someone from some other dimension, like you know, some <laughs> like Russia, <laughs> my dead relatives or something, are watching me dancing to that, and they're just like, damn, pen. I think Why'd we were talking that? about the fat guy dancing to Mexican music, but if you want to do it. Oh, no. uh, oh, Robert Frankum wrote, I love getting high and watching the show. Also, Billy is my nuka. I don't think you should say that. I, I said triggered. Nick Ga. Triggered. Do you think there's Thank anyone you. named Nick Ga? <laughs> There's like 17 trolls that have that name that respond in my chat all day long. Like Mike Hunt, Michael Hunt. I had this I had this idea like if you ever want to like commit a crime, all you got to do is name yourself something they could never see on TV and they'll never be able to like report on you. Also maybe get a tattoo of like penises on your face, they'll never show a photo of you, they'll never say your name. You'll be like the But then you have a tattoo of dick on your face. They'll just blur Billy, the Billy come out. down to Eugene and I will draft MTG the loser has to allow the other slam their ham hut. What? With their man hammer? Barry Compton, I'm not going to play Magic the Gathering cards with you so the winner gets to slam man ass. Why do we have to go all the way to Eugene, too? Why don't you come hang out in Portland or something? Hey, you totally should have hung out with us in Portland, but I wasn't going to slam Manham for a stipulation to Magic the Gathering card game. Stipulation. Stipulation. Icky. But no, maybe uh, maybe we'll go to Eugene anyway since we're already going to Buffalo. Feel free to send us more shit, man. We, we, we got we to gotta reach at least half of the goal. But I was I hoping also, we could... No, 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 go ahead. No, no, go okay, ahead. Okay, well, going back to my previous thing, like, I also had this idea, like, if you were going to commit a crime, carry cameras with you, like, some camera people. That way, if someone's screaming for help, they'll just think you're filming a movie or something, you know? <laughs> help! These are some devious suggestions. Yeah, do you, I think you really do have a girl kidnapped in your house, don't no, you? No, it's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. Oh, my God, that's exactly what a kidnapper would say. Okay, what would a kidnapper not say? That's what I'm wondering. A kidnapper would not say it's fine when we're talking about it's child abduction. It's chill, bro. <laughs> so that's, yeah, you're a kidnapper, dude. Oh, man. I'm not saying yeah. you're doing gross stuff with the kids. Maybe you're just sitting them down and watching cartoons with them, like, since that seems to be what you're into. Just be like, that's hey, man, you ever see Rocco's Modern Life? This was the 90s. Uh, Rocco's yeah. Modern Life. Yeah, I grew up watching that shit. Yeah. Rocco's Modern you know, Life Rocco, was good. He, Rocco was a phone sex operator in that cartoon, actually. Yeah, like I, I was re-watching that because I had some uh, Patreon review raffle to review that, and it's like, right off the bat, they did not hold back. That show was just like full-on just making adult jokes. Like the second episode yeah. is about Ralph Bighead, the, the wife of Ralph Bighead, just having a, a an affair with his her husband, with Rocco. That was the predecessor to SpongeBob, right? Didn't the same company that made Rocco make SpongeBob? I don't know. Well, there's some people who transferred over to SpongeBob and okay. SpongeBob have you ever seen? Like hmm. Have you ever seen Duckman? That was a, oh, a yeah. '90s adult cartoon. USA. Yeah, made a yeah, video they, on it. Yeah. They had the grandmother character that she never said anything. She just farted really loud all the time. <laughs> was George yeah. Costanza Duckman? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Jason Alexander. Jason Alexander was Duckman. Yeah. It was like one of the few adult cartoons that was actually successful next to like The Simpsons. Around that time, yeah. The Simpsons yeah. was not really adult though. They Duck were. Well, the Simpsons. MTV yeah. had a lot of cool the, shit. The bar on back kept then, getting like raised. Yeah. Because I feel like All now today, uh, Adult Swim is this generation's MTV. I think yeah. Adult Swim and Cartoon Network killed Saturday morning cartoons, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Oh, I think the but, internet probably killed Saturday kinda. morning cartoons, right? Uh, my friend Saber Sparks made a video analyzing, but it's a lot of things. Essentially, like Saturday morning cartoons were made uh, since you know there weren't really that many, uh, there weren't really twenty four hour programming blocks of right. cartoons, and now we got that. So we don't really the special Saturday morning cartoons aren't so special, and FCC regulations and stuff. A lot of things like took it out. 
Yeah, it, yeah. You mentioned the head on MTV, Evan. Did you ever see the Max? That that the oh, whole yeah, like MTV Oddity oh, yeah. series. Aeon Flux was around the same time yeah. as that. The Max is like one of my favorite animated uh, series, like animated mi- mini series. The purple monster, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, he's he's just a guy in a suit. Okay. But there's yeah. also like this weird like hallucination world that they go to in the story. It's really crazy. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna put up a timer, and when the timer's done, we're gonna get out of here. Yeah, Beavis and Butthead do America. I want to rewatch that movie. It's mm-hmm. been so long since I saw it. You know what? I I expected that movie to push the envelope because it was a movie and not a TV show, and it didn't. It was just it was just a longer Beavis and Butthead episode without the videos. You know what cartoon did push the envelope and fucking delivered because it was a movie and not on TV? South, South Park, Park, Bigger, Park, Longer, the, Uncut. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. I was they just went, about to say that. Man. Oh, man, they <laughs> went in. That was a great film. I saw that in theaters oh, yeah. like a dozen times. I, I just kept Scott, going back. Someone to, I was under 17 when that came out, and I got someone to buy me tickets just like they did in the movie. <laughs> And then yeah. the funniest part is, you know, Saddam Hussein pulls out that big floppy cock in the middle of the movie. And yeah. when the movie got out, I saw this grandma walking out with her little fucking 10 year old kid, Love like it. with these stone cold looks of shame and horror on their faces. Man. Love it. It's hilarious. <laughs> Love wow, it. that makes it all worthwhile. I think South Park Bigger, Longer, Uncut was one of the first movies that I walked out of after first viewing. Like, holy shit. I, it blew my mind with how fucking vulgar it was, and it was very well done beyond the vulgarity. Like the 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 songs were very well done, catchy tunes. You know, I I I still sing um, the um guy song to this day. Man. The um guy. It's a, yeah, it's such a good song. It's been in my head for fucking what, I don't know two twenty years, two decades almost. Shit. Uh, yeah. Trey Parker bubba. and Matt Stone are good at musical shit, man. They're really yeah. good at writing musicals. Yeah, yeah. I I saw Book of Mormon. It was pretty awesome. I, yeah, I really I, want to see that. Yeah, it's really good. I want to see Book of Mormon. It played here in Seattle, and then Hamilton came here to Seattle, and we missed it, Ben. Barry Compton, how do you how do you guys think Cat Dog's digestive system worked? <laughs> Billy, I miss sexually harassing you. Oh, um, Cat Dog's digestive system. I think the cat eats something. The dog pukes it out, right? And the dog mm. eats something, the cat pukes it out. Fur oh, balls yeah, come out man. of the... I, instead of poops. I think it goes through the center. Like their belly button. That's the oh, only logical explanation, possibly. That's the only logical explanation? <laughs> I like how that's the only one. Look, <laughs> from my experience of watching... <laughs> seeing genetically mutated animals or birth-defected animals, like that's possibly the most plausible way. How many belly buttons have you seen poop? Uh, none. Oh, so I I've seen many animals puke. I've seen many cat animals cough up fur balls and shit. I've seen many dogs like vomit. Ren and Stimpy. Between the two of those motherfuckers, they were puking and pissing and barting and rapping for Jesus. Isn't cringe rap? That old lady has some legit flow and wordplay. Listen to it again and tell me I'm wrong. No, I'm not a troll. Wow. Which one was rapping for Jesus? That's a Jesus Christ. Is no, religion. that's not. That's that is rapping for Jesus. Maybe maybe that's not cringe rap, but it's troll rap, right? Like, there's no way they're serious. I don't know. It's it's but God is I, I get that, that a lot. <sighs> the the cringe on that is just the old people dropping the M bomb. And the fact that I I want to know how that got made. Like somebody needs to own up to writing that and producing it. I felt like it was a Tim and Eric sketch that they were like, "Dude, we can't put this out. We can't put this on our own show." Like, "Well, fuck it. We made it. Let's just leak it." Get in yeah. the sandwich and make me a kitchen. Anonymous alcoholics. <laughs> You got Sail that backwards. Hayden. You got that backwards. So, so Evan, you think you can join us for the private show on Saturday? Um, ch- Saturday, yeah. What time? What time is it going to be? An early morning uh, deal? Or a, we a, haven't a selected time? the exact the exact time yet, but probably like five p.m. Pacific, maybe okay. like four between four and five. I would say. Yeah, have your people call my people, man. We'll work it out, man. You can Spin put me on the, the bill. Wheel make a deal yeah we're gonna have to fill this wheel out the red the red wheels uh they're, they're gonna have like each there's four red colors or four four red triangles so we're gonna have to figure out 
what each one's going to do. Like one of the red triangles is going to be a double, right? Yeah, a double shot. One is going to be skip a shot so you don't have to do it. And then Are the you other guys two... going to have any like cringe booze, like some Phillips vodka or anything that's like nasty to drink? Is that part of the Some game? bottom shelf? Maybe some rubbing alcohol? Oh, or some fucking mouth. No. <laughs> no, that's not good for you to drink. Okay. Okay, Zaddy Daddy Ben. Looks like we just got another patron. I don't know why the patrons haven't been popping up, but I got an alert for it. Hmm. Fuck yeah. Thanks for becoming a patron. Yeah, you guys don't want to miss this Saturday's show. This is going to be epic. It is the spin and spew. I don't know if we get any big good ideas for what we can put in the, the red space between now and, and Saturday. Yeah, yeah, we have to put uh, things in these four red spaces. Those are the only spaces that aren't going to have a type of liquor on them. So one should be double shot. One should probably be like, like a pass. So like you don't have to take a shot. Uh, yeah. Another one should be uh, like skip a turn, like uh, wasabi? or no, no, spin again. Wasabi, Ooh. wasabi. Should wasabi be the fourth red one? I don't know. Well, we'll let the audience chime in over the next couple of days. We're not going to finalize anything today. Rapping for Jesus was a troll video. The pastor name of the church in the video literally doesn't exist. Thank you, Kirk. But who made it? That's what I want to know. Who put that baby together? Who was the mastermind behind that epic troll? Who's that? The mastermind. Who's that mastermind? Rock, 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 rock. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm so fucking excited for the wheel. Yeah. We need to get some cool overlays for the wheel. Spin it, You're not going to put the cheesecake video on one of those red squares, are you? Or red no, red no. Red? It's going to be mostly alcohol, <laughs> and then the, the green is going to be do a weed. So yellow's tequila, purple's whiskey, green is weed, uh, blue, what do you want to make that? Vodka? Vodka, yeah. Okay, blue is vodka. And then like the light purple, like the violet color, what do you want that to be? Everclear? No. <laughs> you guys um, should do Jägermeister for the purple. Gin? One. I don't want to do Jägermeister anything with... Jägermeister has carbs Yeah, in I don't want to do anything with sugar oh, carbs in it. I'm right. So no go, liqueur. No liqueur. I'm trying to go straight liquor for this shit, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah and the, I, I think we're going to... So each game, Put I believe... Put them on the wheel. Each game, I believe, has six or seven rounds. I can't remember... So after each round, the loser spins the wheel, and then uh, and we'll probably play maybe like two, three, two games, maybe. For, for those of you that are on uh, Twitter or similar social networks, hashtag spin and spew. Spin for and any spew. any of your ideas. Hashtag spin and spew. And we'll, we'll, we'll check that out and see if you got any grand fucking ideas. Also, you know... You We're going to be watching videos in between trivia games, too. So in between the spin and spew. That's just kind of like the framework for the show. So... The spin and spew. Yeah. I prefer shit and spin. That's, some, that's more fun. <laughs> the shit and Whoa. spin? That's, yeah. Wow. That would many, be great if they had like rotating a... toilets, man, so you could spin in a circle while you shit. That'd be great. <laughs> You don't How many toilet. shots like do you shoot yourself with your body? <laughs> One fifty-one rum. You, you guys is crazy. Yeah. Y'all is crazy. Yeah. Mm. What do you guys think of bidets, man? You've Not even putting meth on the wheel. I have used a bidet when I was in Italy. I don't know if a bidet would work on me. My body's just too bulbous. What's a bidet? Hang on, I can look that up. It's, it's basically those... like a bathtub for your ass. Uh, yeah, it's a they, toilet they, that shoots water on your. Not ass. all oh, of them. The, the not Japanese all of them. Thingies. Yeah, I got well, you. Not all of them shoot water. That's mainly only in Japan. I, I mean, they have other places for sure, but the the ones I saw in Europe were just like bathtubs. In, in, instead of wiping your ass with dry paper, you get to like you know actually clean your ass in a little bathtub for your ass. When is Pan Pizza Podcast going to have Mister uh -oh. Enter on? Oh, well, oh, I don't know. I, was, I said some bad things about him, so I was like, I felt guilty. You know, oh I can't God. be mean to someone without feeling guilty unless, it, unless I, I don't know. You're such a <laughs> fucking jerk. Jerk. Should I've we call him out right now? Wrong that I don't regret, you know. Should we call out Mr. Enter right now? Oh. Mr. Enter, Pan Pizza says you're a piece of shit. He says he'll never let another. you in the basement yes. with his niece. I, I would say pizza shit. It makes for a pun. You're a pizza <laughs> shit, Mr. Enter. I stole that from ABGN. 
<laughs> EB AVGN. Yeah, 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 yeah. Angry video game nerd. Angry vagina nerd. That's what they call me. Did you ever did you ever watch Ang uh, Angry Video Game Nerds movie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's too bad he, he couldn't actually reference actual video games in that movie. He had to come up with fictional video games. Pan Daddy Lock my up in the basement with your niece spray me with your sauce pizza sama yep. i need your big thick pepperoni also what's your shows are you what's your shows are you per anticipating, anticipating this, this year? year uh what's coming out uh oh no i crap i can't think of what tv shows are coming out uh there's this the guy the creator of regular show is making a sh a new show there's that Close mm -hmm. enough. Yeah, you guys watch regular show? Uh, not a lot, but it's okay. Well, I've never seen mind. a little bit of it. It's we good. Got 54 seconds. I can't explain regular show in 50 seconds. No, no. I mean, like, feel free to explain it. We're, I don't uh, have to cut you off. Um, it's a kid's show, but it's basically made by a stoner because the original pitch pilot was about these two guys mm -hmm. taking acid, and somehow those, those same characters, <laughs> close enough, uh, ended up on a kids cartoon cartoon network and regular show and it's about these two dudes they work at a park and they uh i don't know they do something mundane like play rock paper scissors and that somehow involves them like each episode is them uh, 20 seconds each oh, no, you guys don't, yeah we, we'll go over I'll, I'll, I'll stop it for you yeah we can oh, yeah. do overtime we have all night dude the last red shot the last red should be a shot half of hot sauce and half of soy sauce uh Soy sauce is icky. Well, we'll check the carb count on that, Barry Compton. Yeah. So they do mundane things and weird stuff happens afterwards. Yeah. Interesting. It was very relatable to me as a college student. And now this show is is about uh, basically the same character, but they, they don't use the name. It's the same voice, same personality. And it's them as a, uh, a father just starting out, like a 20-something father. You know, it's like, it feels like an evolution of the character without being the same character. You know, I've got a cartoon question for you. Are you mm. a fan of Rick and Morty or is your IQ uh, not high enough? Rude. Um, I was big into Rick and Morty, you know, before the, all the terrible things happened. And then now I'm, a, I'm ashamed. Violet Stool Butter. What a $5 patron. I've, I've never watched a, like more than two episodes of Rick and Morty in my life. So why are you ashamed? Because some people did like cringy shit oh truthfully i don't care but i know if i like were to reference rick and morty or something i'm gonna get like five comments saying i hate those fans i hate that show and everything's like hey man i'm just talking about a show i like it's not my fault it's just yeah. a really good show that ben can't watch because his iq isn't 200 i don't watch yeah. much of anything though because your iq isn't 200 but I, I i hardly watch anything at all because your iq is so low I hardly yeah. watch it, like no no series of any sort, no yeah. movies. What do you do with your free time? Work on this fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you guys should send in more donations. Show <laughs> your love. Ben loves you. He can't even watch fucking uh he can't he can't binge watch the the love on Netflix. That it's a great series, by the way, by Judd Apatow. The only time I have to watch anything is right before I go to sleep and I end up falling asleep and never finishing anything. I'm like that with sandwiches. And you <laughs> No, I finished them before. Sandwiches I got too out. much bread. <laughs> it's true. I can't do it anymore. Damn. Hmm. So I think we might wrap it up soon. I think later tonight uh, I might hop on to Twitch. I know I said that last time and didn't do it, but this time I'm not as tired as I was. So that's probably going to happen. Um, Pan, thanks for joining us. You're welcome back. Hey. Usually, I, I know I know it's kind of probably different than what you're used to. So it, people get used to it after a while, though. You it just have fun. to do it. You yeah. have to do it like 50 or 60 more thank, times. Thank you. Yeah. And I was just joking about your niece. I know you don't really <laughs> molest her. Oh, I'm joking too, you know. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, I don't want you thinking that, you know, I'm I this mean, guy look, that's going to out you. Gotta you got like, people will believe anything you post online. Like, you know I Alex know. Jones, right? Yeah. Alex right? Jones. I know a guy who knows him, and he, that guy's an actor. He don't mean shit. He, he is an actor. He doesn't believe the shit he says. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, well, I'm going to see myself as, like, 
Tom Green trying to do that or Alex Jones, you know? Are you are, are, are Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna let this night go. I don't wanna get too far into this, but if you could fuck a cartoon oh. not not Raven, who is it? Bugs Bunny oh. and Drag. No, let's see. Lola, no, well, not. Hang on, I can't say the name of the wife that'll give up my one wish. Uh, Stalking Anarchy. There's an. That's an anime. No one, none of you. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. Think. I'm gonna look it up, and I'm gonna fap to it. In your yeah. honor. Yeah. Um, it's an anime called Panty and Stalking, and it's about these angels taken away from heaven, and they use their either panty or stalking as a weapon. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna honor fap to it for you. Yeah. That sounds Great. amazing. Right. On that note. We cue the music, man. All right. Good night, everybody. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Satisfying vape that's both simple and convenient. But Blue, the company that introduced vaping to the world, is now introducing My Blue. With My Blue's easy to use one click liquid pods, you can switch between flavors in seconds. Just click and go. Try My Blue today at myblu.com. Myblue.com. And use our code PEASANTS, P E A S A N T S, for 20% off any My Blue purchase of kits or pods. Again, that's myblu.com and code PEASANTS, P E A S A N T S, for 20% off any My Blue purchase.